Hello, hello everybody! Hi, hi! It is me, Ziggy. How you all doing? Welcome, it's the Ziggy Bot. It is the Ziggy Bot. Uh, today we're going to be playing. What the hell is that? Uh, today we're going to be playing Disco Elysium. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm hella excited, my friends. It's gonna. It's gonna what's wrong with my mouth tracking? Hello? 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 Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Okay, it's working. Yeah, yeah. Today we're gonna to be playing Disco Elysium. Uh, yeah, it should be fun. It should be amazing. Never played it before. Got uh, recommended it by a friend of mine. So yeah, that's actually it, I guess. <laughs> we're gonna jump straight into it. It's a native support of uh, system users 
going towards okay something happened i have no idea what that the game is loading in so we're gonna be starting soon bomb set the music off music is off music is off right now uh main audio school elysium nice game capture nice uh ziggy bot goes in the right corner bots amazing we're gonna go back uh yo no idea if you can play this game on controller we will try we will try and see what it is oops lap lap loop oops lap oops lap oops lap 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 let's go it's loading in we have audio and now we have visuals Z A O. Tak, where is my mouse? We got audio options. Hi, hi, hi! Brilliant. Uh, English, English, English. Tutorial, detective, streamer mode. Cool. Everything's working. Yeah. Let's jump new game. What the hell? Select an archetype. The thinker, extremely intelligent, very bad with people, knows interesting facts, comes with their original ideas, sensitive, very psychological, a magnetic personality, but unstable, might begin to lose his mind. Physical, extremely physical, interacts with the world through his body. Cat things down the butt. Dumbbells are wrong, holy shit. Create your own. I guess it's a smart idea to... What does create your own mean? New game. A terrible intelligence, raw brain power, how smart you are. Sensitive, how emotional, intelligent you are. Physic. Muscular. Sure, how strong you are. Motorics, your sense of how agile you are. You know, um, so five intelligence, encyclopedia, uh, hand eye coordination. Might begin to lose his mind. I'm sensitive to this. Oof. Boy, boy. This encyclopedia mean that. Yeah, let's go thinker. We like to think. Think big. Where is at home and the mirror is the address. Even the deep water if the deep dove can begin. Begin. There is nothing, only warm primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it, no larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ancient reptilian brain, what? Ever. Holy shit. Never, ever. Never ever simply keep on non existing. Never ever ever. Never ever ever, baby. <laughs> simply keep on non existing. In an audience, no matter how time passes. Uh -huh. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex wives are contained within it. No ex wives are contained within it. Give me some more. What was that about? Ex something. 
Give me some more. You got it, sweet brother. Nothing upon nothing upon nothing. Like nothing. How about you cut up some more of that sweet oblivion? <laughs> okay. Coming right up, sir. Smooth passy. Hello. Let's go. I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and winding things from people who don't want to give them to me. Let's go. All right. Nothing town to fuck all borough. A return trip to the silence, please. Let's visit the ancient zero home. Look, there is... Uh, there is... I am tired of being this type of animal and who gives a shit. Let's visit the ancient zero home. Um, I don't know if Zero Home sounds Great interesting. Great choice, Elder One. It has always been like this. It and always, it always will. will. Don't stop. You keep singing, sing me the song of death. Wait, no, I need to be little myself instead. So, song of death sounds cool. The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meet around you. A sensation. Okay. Continue. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. Mother help me, there's a head attached to my neck and I'm in it. Stop, I don't want to hear anything more than about this sensation. Take me back to formless disembodiment, nothing. I like the number one with the head on, uh, attached to my neck and I'm in it. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth. I know it. An un Godly headache. Help, someone cut my head off. It is trying to murder the rest of me. Who am I? What sort of creature does this to their own mouth? Ah, so... We kind of got drunk or something. Now we are uh, experiencing a hangover, probably. Um... A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. A clarion call from hell. What? Somehow, you know what it is. A caprice can make a motor carriage. What the hell is that? Shit, I'm, oh shit, oh shit. Jesus. So... Character sheet. We'll try intelligent power, reduce. It acts the world. Intellect base plus five, learn skill, zero. Call upon your knowledge, produce fascinating trivia. Ah, I can read about Wolf analysts, pure rationalist, obvious logicians, logic urges you to analyze the living daylight out of the case. It enables you to piece evidence together, detect inconsistencies in statements, and impress everyone with your astonishing conclusions. It is bread and butter of many detectives. At high level logic will be able to solve even the most complicated puzzle. You will be very proud and also susceptible intelligent into to intellectual uh, flattery from those moon. <laughs> okay. Holy shit. Okay.
Huh? What the hell is... I am so confused. I am so confused. What is this? Can I... No, I can interact with stuff. Take all. Take all. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your clear-cut pants. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. Uh -huh. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Uh -huh. The whirling in rags is a hostel cafeteria on the urban coast, frequented by dock workers. Uh huh. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow oh, attached it's itself like, uh, to one of the Oh, it's like skate uh, stuff. Save your fair medium. Grab the tie, pull on the fan, pull on the light bulb. Uh. You reach out to grab the tie. What <laughs> was this? Diffuse radiating chest pain. Doom comes over you. Okay. This is bad. Oh shit, I'm Feels dying. Feels like sharp stones grinding in your chest and keeping you from moving. For quite a long time. Oh shit. Still ongoing. Finally, the pressure recedes. You know what you should do. You should stop the fan and then try again. Do it if you uh. want to die. The stabbing pain in your the blades come squeaking uh -huh. to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. You swoop up Ooh, against nice. the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. Amazing. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous thick tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Uh huh. A terrible mistake. Turn the, the lights are off. What is this? Come on, Randy empty. What we got here? Words fail to describe how rank it smells here. Uh huh. Take one. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. Okay. In a first discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Oh, shoot. Was this not the same Eno that founds empires and lays waste to cities? I'm Vera, so confused. I'm caring towards the little things. Probably not, no. Hot water sprays from the faucet's base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself. Uh -huh. Just a vague impression of a man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Uh, wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. Maybe I should uh, touch it first, make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Yeah. Yeah. There is definitely something wrong with it. What could it be? Where to even begin? There is the bloatedness, then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. Touch your nose? It's not. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. It oh, doesn't appear he to got be a particularly now. tiny nose either. Got not with all now. the drinks it's absorbed for you. Jesus. Tongue is okay? It's not. Shit. It's swollen and snail-like, wriggling between your fingers. I want to stop doing this. Wipe the mirror now. Behold. Lol, what? You have no idea 
who this thing is, do you? Of course I do. It's, uh, it's some kind of stupid stuff. <laughs> it appears you're also dead. There's clearly rigor mortis on your face. What? Oh, wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? What? Why? I'm a superstar. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. <laughs> I keep doing the face. You can't, can you? <laughs> it's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. Okay. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Superstardom, God, I don't know. It's indescribable. I think I, it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off to, uh, you know, sad has been kind of way. There's some charm to it. It's an expression of pain. <laughs> it's an expression of pain, bro. You are correct. Uh, it, Encyclopedia formidable. Dig deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression. Very low. Like the rest of you, it comes from a bad place somewhere in the past. Uh -huh. That's all you know for now. Uh, from happening. It's too late. Okay, I can. Like an image on film. The expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It okay. would take a minor neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. Yeah, I think we had a good, a good time here. Seems like it. Um... Wait, let me check something super quick. Very quick. Uh, just super quick, don't worry. Okay. Okay, we're back, we're back, sorry. It's still rolling empty. Take all. Okay. Tape. Take all. Is this the window stands broken in its frame cold wind blows in assess the damage the morning light hurts your eyes it's hazy but you see the ocean and some war-torn buildings mm -hmm. the morning light hurts your eyes it's hazy but you see the ocean and some war-torn buildings the shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Did I break it with my own hands? Look at them. A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, mm -hmm. but none of it is recent. But this bit is then? More likely a projectile than a held object. Uh -huh. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Assess the size of the impact. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. I You're looking for something heavy than your and fist. larger than your fist. The single green shoe you found fits the hole almost as well as your foot. It would have also been heavy enough if thrown with force. Okay. Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you could still find the other one on the balcony outside. Should the go to it should be outside your room. Okay, I will get to that shoe. The cool wind gushes in. Your toes curl up from the cold. Uh huh. Is 
So I have one point, right? That I can spend. Correct? Where do I see the points? Ah, uh, okay. I'm missing a head, gloves. Find another shoe. Okay, I cannot. Here, anything else? Can can we open this door? Okay, we can't. Anything else available to me here? Okay, let's open up. Take all. Got money. Hello, officer. Can this is much? Don't tomorrow I'll put points in the evolution. Oh. Get the shoe. A gust of brain wind rushes over you. There they both are. Two identical shoes. Okay. Both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin. Reunited on your feet, like two baby crocodiles. Until they fit. Good. They're balanced, comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. Okay. Got the shoes. I'm going for us. Smell of the area. We can explore, continue. Some sort of a bar or cafe. Stop it. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. This could answer. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. Okay. A silver jumpsuit falls off her like scale armor, sparkling. This is the sparkle of too many nights out on the city. Officer, am I a military personnel? Turn your bloated face away from her beauty and just keep on walking. Talk to her. Uh, no. She seems perplexed by your question. Wait, I know. I'm a businessman, chief executive, right? And why did you call me an officer? Because you're a police officer, sir. Pull on with your cigarette. Are you sure? God damn, right, I am police and don't you forget it. Are you sure? I am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well rehearsed lies all this time. She takes another drag. All this you've time? been here for three days. On official police business, no Unless, less. Unless, okay. And what business is that? Couldn't say. In truth, so far. <laughs> Most Mostly drink. drinking. Okay. You have no doubt about the drinking, but do you strike yourself as a tight-lipped drunk? She must have heard something. Still not really, still not really sure what this game is about. To be honest with you. A little bit confusing, so we don't know who we are, what we do, and why we do stuff. We are like a police officer who got beaten up. It's interesting. Um, and uh, I think we just uh, I might not know where I am or what I am or what I 
copperous skin mice. How I know what it sounds like? Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Who in the right mind would let me <laughs> on the law? Suggestion challenging. Try the expression on her. Let her know you want. Oh, physically. Should get going on. Uh huh. Let's go with number one. She nods. But I do know when somebody's not telling me the whole story. What I am doing here? What's my case? There's a mercenary out back. He's been hanged. The body has been there for a week now. The locals probably got tired of it and called the cops. And then why didn't you just tell me that? I didn't mean to overwhelm you with information. You seem a bit lost, officer. officer. I might not know where I am or who I am or what uh, this. Uh, so like, why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Could it be because of the drinking? Uh, yeah, maybe she raised an eyebrow and the cigarette sizzles. She hasn't had time to put her makeup on. This is her morning cigarette. She looks tired. Her beauty waning faster than it ought to at her age. When the right mind will let me be an officer of the law. Don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. Interesting. Uh, let's try it. And... The words have already left your mouth. I want to have... <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what was that? That's not even how words are used. What did you say? Come on. <laughs> say it again. Uh, no, I... No, I don't want... Uh, let's try, why not? Let's be... Lost. <laughs> no, you see, that's not what you said. You said. <laughs> <laughs> but she's unable to finish. Consumed with laughter. Come on, man. Pretty, please. One more time. <laughs> uh, again. Goddamn right you did. You crazy asshole, you. <laughs> what kind of cop are you? I'm a cop of the apocalypse. A superstar cop. It's been established. Sorry, I don't know where I'm said. I will... Uh, why I said that you're pretty, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, cop. I'm not so sure I'm a cop at all. I sure don't remember being on anything I might have lied. Okay, sir. I have to ask. Do you really not remember? Just like that? She tries to think you of like the so explanation. Your memory? Uh, I don't think there's any more of it. Uh, I'm a joke of a cop. I joked about being one. And drank too much. I'm also old. No, there is a massive, odd, worldly mystery above. Put here, and I am in the center of it. It's obvious someone did me over and <laughs> got pricked bad. Uh, probably I drank too much. I don't think this game has something mystical or some sort of that to do with it. I'm sorry. Just think the show cigarette. It's gonna suck for you later when you have to interrogate me. Oh, ye. Boy. And for the record, no, I didn't do it. Woogie. Looks like she left a nice long stuff in the ashtray. It's still smoking. Can we open it? No. This is weekend edition of the uh, newspaper. Promptly more. Let's go inside. The door is closed. Knock. There is no answer. You hear the shower being turned on. Ooh. Somewhere inside. Try the handle. This door can only be opened with a key or from the inside. Knock again. Still no answer. Leave. Okay. Uh. Nothing from. Okay. Okay, good. We're gonna go down. Uh, holy shit, where am I? Who am I? That was a hell of a night, seems like. This is where the lyrics would be. A pickled karaoke might just wanting for somebody to sing. Speakers. You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. 
Okay. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. My soul is so nice. And it needs to be heard. Continue. Through a PA system. By other people. The velvet at theory, I'm the one, but um should I sing when it comes to it? You should sing the sad small church song from that tape you found. Of course they I really get like the gouge from my song with that one. Serves them right. Wipe that smirk off their face with your sad, tragic song. Uh who's laughing now? No one. You would need another copy of the tape first though. Uh -huh. The one upstairs is destroyed. Uh Finished. Let's talk to this dude. A man in his late twenties stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. Okay. Everything is cool between you and this guy. He's a big fan. Make some small talk. Look at the stuffed bird. A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters uh -huh. and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it. Most likely on a wall. Okay. This is the great skewer. The seabird is the symbol for the discovery of the Insulindian Isola. The part of the world you are in right now. Uh huh. The small steel tag says as much. The great skewer. Stay Kawari's skewer. Can I help you with that? What happened to the bird? That's the great skewer, right? Look, your buddy is over there. Uh, looks at the door where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? Uh, what do you mean by buddy? He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. Are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. Okay. He's very animated all of a sudden. This seems like a touchy subject. You look like a bartender. What's the difference? I have three cafeterias to manage. Three. Sylvie tends the bar here, not me. I'm only standing in. Where did Sylvie go? She just, you know. He shrugs. His eyes dart from left to right. This man isn't lying, but he is hiding something. She just what? So now you're a cop. Oh, forget it. You're a cop, forget it. Look at the stuff. Good. Leap. Uh -huh. Take one. Woman sent wrote yesterday menu. Uh huh. How to say? Believe I triggered an event. Okay. Still a little bit confused about the control sign reads mess. I'll reserve for the union member to also open cigarettes. Eh? Is the Royal Pumble machine is on clock? Who is this? Hello, sweetie. Howdy. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. She nods towards the man in the orange bomber jacket. Uh, not bottle. Sleeping dog work. A man is sleeping on the table wearing mud caked uh, boots and rolled down overalls the back of his shirt. Hey. Reads wild pines 
Encircled by a lock with a dream. A colorful piece of plastic is dangling from his carabineer. Hmm. Makes your fingers itch. Continue. On the counter, rolled out of his open hand, you mm -hmm. see a blister pack of headache medicine. Uh, inspect the pieces of plastic on his carabiner. Uh, uh, let's try to inspect. It's a dock worker's ID, doubling as a shift card and a job permit. A young, able bodied man stares back at you from the photo. Santiago S. S. John. John. Uh, move interface when you steal the dock. Pick up the pills. The man does not mind. You probably need them okay. more than he does. You've just picked up some magnesium. This item is stored in the bottom left corner of the screen, screen above your character portrait. Page. Use magnesium to heal your, your morale man. if you have morale damage. Okay. Let's try to steal it. Your fingers find their way into Ooh. the shackle, flicking open its spring-loaded gate. The metal loop holds the plastic ID and a leather-bound pocketbook. Mm -hmm. And the man? The man emits a loud snore. Is he about to wake up? Doesn't look like it, but you never know. Better be quick. Swipe through the pocket uh, book and take what's inside. You find a black paper note with a woman's profile on it. Seems like this woman lived centuries ago. The note says, five, real. It feels nice and greasy. What? Steal the you document. the plastic ID card out of the loop and pocket it. The man continues to snore. Okay, continue. Just for the record, you look nothing like the man on the document. Closer. The sleeping dock worker has little to say about your actions. He remains silent. Let's wake him up. You gently shake his shoulder, but nothing happens. Okay. I mean, I stole some stuff from him, so it's fine, I guess. Uh, document. What? Okay, some other gloss. That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary eyed with joy. Mm -hmm. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? Uh, an hour? Sweet lord, a whole hour. And you haven't thought about the rum and lemonade in all that time. You've truly extinguished all trace of yourself. Uh huh. I've been signaling and thinking about all this. Actually, I've been sure that I've been thinking about this. Looks like drinking hasn't turned out too well for me. As I mentioned it, I didn't... Maybe you well. haven't turned out well for your drinking. Have you thought about that? Get a goddamn rum and lemonade to yourself, boy. Or better yet, lick that stain off the counter. And don't lick it. What happened, man? You used to, to be, be cool. cool. Go get your boring normal person drink then. Get your drink on and your act together. Uh-huh. The theme on that pinball machine is a standard royalist theme. Uh-huh. Used on everything, from pinball cabinets to full flavor cigarettes. Clinging to a picture book version of the past century, waiting for the king to come back and cast out all the profiteers and homosexuals. Basically, imagine a yellow plastic crown with a liquor brand emblazoned on it. Do I get such a crown? The idea of the king of the century crown is pretty fascinating. Let them know more about the world of today. The contemporary period stands still. The fated carousel of progress uh -huh. that doomed the royalists is itself winding down. Our time, time is, is decelerating, decelerating into, into what, what? No, one knows. no one knows. Dude, can you give me a the drink? The man plucks at the seabird, a competent. Looks like this is the great skewer. The small steel tag says as much. What happened to the, the great bird? skewer? Look, 
your buddy is why don't you go and talk to him okay he pretends not to hear mm. a competent look this is the small steel tag says as much the gra look you what looks this the small look what a comp looks like this is the, the small steel the okay a competent looks like this is the small steel Dude, tag say the man plug Okay. Doris. Okay. Let's talk to him. A bespectacled man in an orange jacket is tapping she. his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. You. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. On the sleeve of his bomber jacket, as well as on its back are the same enigmatic white rectangles as on your blazer. Shake his hand. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must, you must be, be from the 41st. Okay. You realize he's waiting for your name. Uh, player maybe will insert a name for me. Yeah. Let's try this. Rafael Ambrosius Gusto. <laughs> Very cool, but maybe just a bit too over. My name is very cool, but I won't come off like a douche if I like. Uh. No, it's not. Raphael Ambrosius Custo is one classy name for one classy ah. name. Say it. Yes, well. He doesn't even process what you just said, just move on. Okay. Not for a moment does he believe that's your real name. He casts it aside as an intra-departmental joke or Probably. a peculiarity he doesn't understand. Okay. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? What he means is, he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but mm -hmm. you have been otherwise occupied. Ooh. You mean him? Uh, not towards the... Yeah, I just talked to him. No, I haven't. There must be some kind of a misunderstanding. You're talking to me for somebody else. I'm the manager. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. Okay. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Yes, the police. I'm aware I'm... Uh, I have. I haven't. Okay. We'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Okay. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? And uh, look, man, you know, no. No. So the body is still in the tree. Yes. Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Yeah. What if I told you I'm not really a police officer? Or how can I be sure? If from the police, that I can't remember anything. What were supposed to do again? Let's get going then. What if I'm the killer of that body? No. Uh, what if I told I'm not really a police officer? We all feel that way sometimes. There is no such thing as a police officer, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. What remains is that there is a dead body in the tree. Someone has to figure out who put it there. If we don't, no one else will. And then, soon after, dead bodies would be dangling from all the trees. Okay. But first, we have to take it down. Uh, be sure I'm from the police. I was sent here to meet a detective from Prison 41. You have the insignia of the citizen's militia on your sleeve and on your back. He points to the jacket. I suppose you could be impersonating him. You could have gotten the insignia from the black market or forged it. But for now, I'm going to set those possibilities aside. I'm not from the Inspectorate General. Inspectorate General means internal affairs. You mean... What he's saying is he's not from the rat squad and isn't supposed to suspect such things. I mean the right squad. No need for derogatory terms. They're only doing their job. Uh, the kind of, I mean, point to 
Yes. Okay. Just white. They are not just white <laughs> rectangles. They bear a halogen watermark with the letters RCM and a pattern resembling the street grid of Revachol West. Revachol, what the hell is that? I would ask you to step into the headlights of my motor carriage, but again, it's none of my concern. I just need you to do your job. Okay. I have a badge or something? You mean you don't have a badge? It was not on me when I woke up, pretend you found that I have my badge, I'm a policeman and I have my badge. Uh... Losing your identification card is a serious matter. Jeez. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. Those I would those. advise you to locate it as quickly as possible. I told you but I getting the body okay. down should still take precedence. Uh, can't remember anything. I can see you drank last night and the night before, and that you are still drunk now. But I have seen officers go through worse. Much worse. And that you're still drunk now, but okay. If you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. But as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. What, uh, what we are supposed to do again? Talk to the manager. Then we go out back and take the body down. Okay. After you, officer. Lieutenant Kitsuragi is now in your party. party. You can talk you to him, can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. Okay. Let's talk to the manager. The man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Mr. Gart, right? You run this place. Uh -huh. Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation, so joining me from Prison 41. He looks at you realizing he still doesn't know your name. I'm um, how the Harbringer I said Detective Raphael and Custacio. Right. Now, I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report the dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only uh -huh. temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, made the call, okay. He looks behind a pile of courses, finds a slip of paper and hands to the This him. sounds like something you can use to call this Sylvie later. Okay. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No. I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. Uh -huh. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. I didn't imply that. Detective. He okay. probably means this is where you step in and Just, ask your questions. I got this. Play the fool, homie. No, I'm good. First question. Right then, question. I got this. His face expresses profound doubt in your having this. <sighs> ask him about the body's location before, before ask asking if he killed him. People uh, give up information in the more innocuous questions. Which yeah, you can later in use in the more sinister ones, not vice right, versa. So where exactly is the body? Who killed him? Why did Sylvia go away? You know, I'm actually uh, can't think of. Why did Sylvia go away? Where is the body first? Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. Uh, and how do we get there? That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that, uh -huh. then to your right you should see a big hole in the fence, a really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys, uh -huh. the hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. This man means the heavy cavalry of the innocent Franco-Negro, sweeping over the plains and nations of the enemies of mankind, 5th century style. Unified currency and the concept of cool came in their wake. They wore lamella and carried guns. But first and foremost, 
Franco-Nigerian heavy cavalry was really, really wide. That hole in the fence must be enormous. Uh, why did Sylvie go away? Haven't you asked me that already? What is it with you and this woman? She has nothing to do with this. No, before I ask you where now, I'm asking you why she left. Okay, you got me. She went away because of the dead body out back. And because I asked for her number. Ooh. That's why Sylvie went away. I hope you appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, is the result? Is it? Because I thought you were supposed to be investigating the lynching, not my employer conduct. Stuff got on my nerves, I am a feminist. Guess I like uh, like to be throw off. Everything has something to do with everything. I don't know where it just went for it. You're right, I probably should. Yeah, everything has to do something with everything. Good for you. Uh, was there something else? I'd like to get back to what I was doing. That's all. Let's go. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. Uh, let's do this. One moment you're running like the wind, then you've suddenly turned around. What and was that? The finger, furiously, with both hands. Why? Yeah. Uh, one moment you're running in the wind, then you. The lady in the wheel behind you, isn't she? Why did I do this? Why did I have to use my hands to flip him off? Why both? Isn't she? That's true. Yes. And it's worrying. But let's not fixate on it. What? Look at that stupid bartender instead. He has no idea what's going on. You and your fuck you fingers floating in the air. Barkeep's got his mouth agape like an idiot. You yeah. showed him. Watch out! What did I do? Everything goes dark. Back so soon. Ancient reptilian brain? Uh, so worth it. This did not <laughs> need to have my game no such command to my body. Those are mysteries of the spinal cord. The spinal cord has yet to reveal itself. What is to going you. on? Its mysteries are unholy mystery. Wow, there is more of you hidden. I am so cool. I don't know, that's just come off as lazy effort or non conceptualizing the antifix of shambling drunk. Uh, this sounds if it fancy. Comes off like that, it's because it is. What? And you are. Dude, I am so confused. What the hell is going on? Help, guys. Help, explain to me. I was wrong to let you go. I should have kept you here. Is it bright where you are? Is it terrifying? Have you felt the love? What the hell? Sure, I felt the love. No. It's okay, I'm going for What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? <gasps> Are you okay? I thought I bonked her. Uh... No. You have sustained a trauma to your lower neck. In addition, you have strained your left trapezius muscle. Pain surges down your back I... when you move. Ouch. Ouch. Ma'am, are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. He just tripped over my chair. Check on him. Sir, I didn't I didn't mean for this to happen. I'm sorry. This has always been a cop-friendly place. This man has shaken by the accident. The drinks are on the house, okay? There were a lot of drinks on the tab. I still have to charge you for three nights and the broken window, though. Uh, that's a hundred square. He's shaken. Barton now, and he'll cave in. Thank you for your cooperation. Don't thank me yet. You still owe me a hundred real. If you don't have it by tonight, I just can't let you up there. Uh-huh. And for God's sake, watch out for yourself. 
What the hell happened? Why did I... I'm so confused. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank. And this place sure isn't it. Do I even have one? But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. I don't know, near where were you so. before? You had to be somewhere. Up on Marvel Hill? Why did you say that? These are just synapses firing. It doesn't mean anything. The name must have something meaning for me. Because you do you know a place called Marvel Hill? No. But isn't that an expression, not a place? Huh? An expression? A thing. Up on Marvel Hill, a great high place. One that is impossible to climb back to. That doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Well, I traced the way back somewhere to the exact street. There's like no one the building. You can try. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Okay. Make you okay? Hello, sweetie. Wait, who's sweetie? Does that mean you like me? You're a handsome man, officer, with your mustache and your chiseled jaw and that silly dimple on your chin. Ooh. Ooh. But dear, you're not for me. I'm too old and too married besides. You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I completely forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. Mm hmm Her eyes glitter over the rims of her glasses. She looks up smiling. This Lena is wacky enough. For the motor crew, huh? hire her on the spot. They seem to be in a chair. How did you like to? Uh, oh, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. Uh, are you okay? I'm very sorry I crashed into you early. I don't know what got into me. Oh, oh, I'm perfectly all right. I'm more worried about you. What was that? Uh, that's a, it's a bad man. I <laughs> thought him. Uh, it was like my body had. Fell off its own. I was running my torch to my hand. Okay. Don't beat yourself up over it too much, dear. People do strange things when the old fight or flight Does, kicks in. <laughs> Sweetie I'm needs just glad money. You Does Sweetie injured. get money? Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I don't know where I am or what I'm doing <laughs> or anything. Yes, officer. You look rather dazed. Like okay, a stunned man. fox. But surely things can't be that bad. Well, we are moment it uh, some concern. Yeah, I'm blowing this whole thing out. Proportion, forget this. Thanks a lot, I forgot literally everything. Oh my. You know where we are, right? It's a little ranks got pretty to us on my key. Uh, I don't know really. Uh, haunting each other, we are ghosts. That's right. Mm -hmm. And where is the Whirling and Rags cafeteria itself located? Uh, something called the Urban Coast. Yes. We're in Martinez, on the coast of Revachol. What Revachol? What kind of place is this? How would I even begin to tell you? Revachol is the most beautiful city in the world. We're fortunate to be here, you and I. I haven't seen very many other cities personally, uh -huh. but... Everyone says so. Revachol is a rare jewel. This city used to rule the world, though it has seen better days. You must like, uh huh. Speaking of history, you know what year it is, yes? Uh, it's bad year, uh, spring of 51. That's right, dear. How splendid. Okay. Here, take this pen. Knowledge should always be rewarded. Thanks. Her relief is palpable. She was getting pretty worried about you there, but now she relaxes her shoulders. Great. I can tell that this is taxing for you, so I'll just ask one more question. Are what in regime are we living under? What mode, mode of government? Some kind of democracy, maybe? Uh, I'd like to think it's dictatorship of the proletarian, but something tells me it's not. Our leaders are fierce warriors who traverse the plains of steed civilization. We are governed by an intelligent machine that performs calculation to determine the rest mark, travel and hostels on the ground. Values are being used to control people's mind. Cop, we are living under the cop regime. Some kind of democracy, maybe? 
Nope. Sadly not. Revishol is what's called a zone of control, under an alliance of foreign powers called the Coalition. We have no government of our own, and what democracy we have is market-driven. Uh-huh. Meaning, buying is voting. They're not going and talk on the cops. Oh dear. It shakes her head. Doing so well. Suddenly, there aren't any cops in Rivershall, not in the traditional sense. The status of law enforcement has been a complicated matter since the revolution. Huh? But we should stop for today, sweetie. You look like you need a break. Then I don't know. Someone rich, maybe? Wealthy people are educated. Not all of so them. I don't know where you would find a wealthy person in Martinez. Oh, great. We lost internet connection. Okay, I think we're back. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, did not notice it. That's a good point. This doesn't look like rich central. Uh, you seem to be in a chair. How did you like to ride with me? You seem to be in a chair. Yes, dear. Uh, I'm a paraplegic. What the hell is that? A paraplegic is someone with limited or no ability to use the lower half of their body. Paraplegia is caused by spinal cord injuries, like falling from a great height. Oh shit! Or a grenade explosion. To fight in a war, I'm sorry it was sort of me. To mention the wheelchair, let's move on. Proceed. Thanks. Uh, maybe I should fought in a war or got injured during it. No, dear. I'm not quite that old. Although I was injured in the line of duty. Uh, I feel like uh, uh, where you are uh, want to train uh? Nothing so glamorous, dear. Though when I was young, I dreamt of planting the Revisholian flag on some figurative peak. Uh-huh. What did you do then? I was a training and development manager at a rapidly expanding mail order shoe company. Uh-huh. You'd think it would be a safe job, but I had to be everywhere and, well... Once I happened to be under some faulty scaffolding. Oh no. I was lucky. This was almost 20 years ago and I was compensated exceptionally well. 
One can only dream of such payoffs nowadays. I'm sorry, it was rude of me to mention the wheelchair. That's quite all right. I'm used to people asking questions. I know they're thinking about it anyway. Um, would you like to roll with me? Whatever do you mean? I want you to be my wheelchair partner in fight crime. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Sequence killers? Oh my. But I think you already have a partner, sweetie. <laughs> a partner who needs you to help him get a corpse down from a tree. <laughs> I know, I know, but there's also side mystery sequence. <laughs> I can assure you with absolute certainty, there are no sequence killings taking place in Martinez. Continue. Now, gentlemen, no need to squabble. I wouldn't be of much use to you anyway, sweetie. Better than two. Three heads better than two. Thank you, but... Martinez isn't the most wheelchair accessible place, you see. I'd slow you down. Perhaps another time. Sweetie needs many. <laughs> oh, sweetie, I heard your conversation with the manager about your financial uh, troubles. That is a paycheck. When do you get your next paycheck? <laughs> you must be joking. Although our pay does sometimes feel like a joke. Pain. Pain. It's not easy to assert your right to a decent living wage when you don't have a strong union behind you. Maybe you should talk to Everard, the union leader. Maybe. Interesting idea. This Everard sounds powerful. Maybe you can wrangle some coins out of his pocket. Ah, right. Let's change the subject. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I don't have money for you. If, if there's anything else I can do for you, just... No, thanks. Uh, it's fine. Let's get going. Of course, dear. Good luck with your case. Yo. Um, kind green up app ape pen. So many quests. Inter internalize. about the case i think we should know that uh i can't remember anything uh, i want to talk about you you seem to be following tell me about the what case what do you want to know well that i can't remember a single thing maybe you can tell me what you do know to help me narrow it down a bit the younger mercenary's been hanged that's all then you are not that far behind actually do you want me to brief you if yes, that sounds good. Three days ago, the RCM emergencies desk received a report about a security guard who was found hanged in Martinez. An anonymous caller said there was a dead body behind the Whirling and Rags Hostel cafeteria. The cadaver had been there for four days. No one had come to investigate. Uh huh. During that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify him, but used the word lynching. There is an ongoing labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company Wild Pines. I was told we should approach the death as part of this dispute. But that is to say who the victim was? Why didn't we know anything about the caller? They didn't identify themselves in any way. The tone was muffled using a device of some sort. Okay. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. Uh-huh. Why hide themselves? There's a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. The Dock Workers Union is the de facto police in Martinez. Now it appears they've started executing too. Cannot we cannot allow that. Hold on. The RCM me is... Us, the Revachol Citizens Militia. Okay. We're the police in this city. The RCM, or the Revachol Citizens Militia, is the police force you and him are part of. A self-organized peace corps uh -huh. of the occupied city of Revachol. The RCM operates within a legal twilight, yet its authority is rarely questioned. It's super useful to know this. Uh, job to find the killer. That's right. Uh, can we get over the... Uh, will you... 
say this is a mysterious case? No, it's not a particularly mysterious case. Uh, why not? The deceased is a security guard for a corporation involved in a labor dispute. It doesn't take a DeLorean polymath to put the pieces together. I just don't see the case getting more mysterious than that. You know, supernatural. I can assure nothing like that will happen. Do you know why not? Already is happening. No, something isn't happening. Because it's not part of reality. The gesture resembles an orchestra conductor bringing the choir to a full stop. Okay. So desperately mundane. You need to funk this case up. There's something the lieutenant isn't seeing. The universe is too irrational, too morally complex. If we're from different persons, why are we on the same case? Him? Yeah. I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a, a pissing competition. <laughs> Do you mean? You don't know? I assumed you were in on it. You know what I'm on? <laughs> Amnesia. Better still than an imbecilic cup of. Uh, tell me about it. It's just stupidity. We shouldn't waste any more time on it. If you want my take, ask me after we've inspected the victim. Later. Was there anything else you wanted to know? You mean like a brief? No, Dude, there's doesn't... no reason. To... Three days ago, during that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify him, but you, a security guard or worker of some sort, they didn't. I... There's a strong prejudice so against involving the RCM in what's seen as. Just to be clear, we are police officers. Good. Okay. No. Uh... Uh, legendary came there, sexy dark Mr. Twist in the case. I think you should know that I can't remember anything. No response. He's having trouble processing it. Believing <laughs> it right. even. Uh, there must have a drinking involved. Have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? Personal affairs? Not a fan. It's just the nature Perfect. of lieutenancy. Okay. The RCM deploys a self-styled structure called the decomtage as its chain of command. Every lieutenant is responsible for two sergeants and eight officers. That means the average lieutenant has to deal with quite a few personal affairs. Even you know this. What should I concentrate on? Try work. The case at hand. It can work miracles. Uh, I'm lacking the basic information. Fine. We should get through this day first. Off hours begin at 9 p.m. This if you're still having trouble then, I can give you an orientation. Uh... Really? You look fine to me. Myself in the mirror and had no idea who I am, who I was. This psychodrama is unbecoming of an officer. Clearly, he prefers to think you're malingering. He cannot fathom that anyone could drink so much as to retroactively erase their entire life. Oh. Then you should consider seeking medical attention. You can use the radio in my kinema to call That's your stations better. Let's talk Was about there anything him. anything else you wanted? Me? Yes, you. I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. Uh, come on, let me open up a little. You're right. Yeah, let's understand a little bit more about you. Mm, that's a fair point. All right, for the good of the investigation, what do you want to know? Tell me, uh, uh, do you ever talk about it? Don't look like other people around here. That's because I'm half Seolite, or quarter. My father's father was from Seoul. So was my grandmother, but from my mother's side. It's not an interesting topic. Uh, what is Seoul? It's a part of the world, officer. A geopolitical entity and a geographic division. Uh -huh. I told you it wouldn't be interesting. Seoul is a protectionist, isolationist, pan isolary state west of the Insulindian Isola. Actually, it's quite interesting. Some would even say mysterious. So, want to know about more about Seol? You're barking at the wrong tree. I don't speak a word of Seolite. I've never met either one of my grandparents, and I've never been to Seol. I'm a regular Revachelier. Okay. A point of pride to him. Hey, oh, wearing glasses? That's correct. You feel a slight urge to put the lieutenant down for this. But you can't quite muster enough testosterone. No, I don't. Glasses are cool, I guess. Uh, you feel a slight urge to put the lieutenant down for this, but you can just observing. I guess you don't need glasses then. 
Now tell me a secret about yourself. No. <laughs> your brain sends the signal to your lips, but they refuse the order. Something is paralyzing them. Okay. You're pretty sure it has something to do with the lieutenant's eyebrow. It's like you're locked down. What's happening to me? Something the matter, detective? What's going on? It's like you're a puppet in his hands. Uh, there is nothing I can do. The lieutenant relaxes his eyebrow, and you seem to regain control of yourself. Do you talk about uh, talk with yourself? What do you mean? Hmm? I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. The lieutenant's conceptualization skills. How do you know top this side of your head? So you're saying your brain never just with advice or warning or anything? I can't say that it does. Well, this bit of music all of the song. The lieutenant produces his small blue notebook and idly thumbs through a few pages. We all have our different mediums. That's all for now. Let's change the subject. I think I should know I can't... Uh, you seem to be following me. Excuse me? Uh, what if I want to work with this case alone? Read it. You're coming my stand. Nothing, just an observation. Uh, a distinctive way of working. If I were to work in front of you, I would surely collide. What do you mean, distinctive? I hope you don't take this the wrong way. It's just a collegial observation. In the 57th, we call it the Jamrock Shuffle. Officers from Jamrock's 41st precinct tend to move a bit erratically. How's that? They say it's a scene clearing technique developed by one of your lieutenants for gathering evidence. It's erratic yet thorough. Prioritizes containers. Mm hmm. Yes, but containers contain things, shiny things. They're interesting. Kidding me? Why containers? I don't know. Containers contain, I guess. I'm making assumptions. We should move on. Hmm. Game, there is a sexy dog, Mr. Twist, in the case. Only banal things strike you. At the core, you're a very banal person with a very small soul. Pain. Mark, <laughs> heal yourself. One you should be ashamed of. It's no wonder the soft one doesn't want it back. It was. Okay. The worker is in a deep slumber. The Janet, who is this? No idea. Looks like he works for Wild Pines, the logistics company who owns and operates the harbor. Possibly because there's a strike going on in the harbor, there's not much to do aside from drinking and sleeping. Let's try waking him up. Why the yelling man? Uh. Looks like a sow descendant. A lot of sour dock workers around. I looked out for the long count there. I just wanted to see what would happen if I yet. I need you to answer some question right now. Really? You woke me up for that? Fine. What is it, officer? They're interesting in your dreams. Tell me about Wild Pines. Point to the writing on his overalls. Why are you sleeping here while the others are out of strike? Who is behind organizing the strike? What about the Dead body in the yard, yours point of battle on this. Right, I'll let you sleep. Tell me, see anything interesting in your dreams? Tell me about the wild pines. That's the name of my employer. I work in logistics. How's that going? How's it going? <sighs> Some fingerprints glisten on the glass, okay. Haven't you noticed what's going on outside? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Almost never been outside this building. I'm not sure what you mean. We're in the middle of a strike down at the arbor, trying to force some sense into the executive board of Wild Pines. Uh-huh. For one, I get you some more shut-eye in the mornings. Right to work, right to sleep, I say. Seen anything interesting in your dreams? Thank God, no. Was it a phantomless darkness into which you we ought to be different like corpse of Mars alone? The worker stares at you, <laughs> his eyes dry from sleep. A web of wrinkles covers his tanned forehead. 
I don't know what you're talking about, kind sir. Oh, but yeah. when I'm out, when you... I'm really out. Oh. No corpses, no mausoleums, just quality time. Are you sleeping here when the others are on strike? They got it. Majored's got it. He's guarding the gate. Or just getting some sleep. Or was. Who's behind organizing the strike? We are. The workers. The union. We know what we need. What's right for us. I mean, there is no leader. Okay. I guess there is also Everard. He's in charge of the union. He's smart. Knows how to negotiate. He's got our back. What about the dead body in the yard? Yeah, what about it? Seem cool with it. Do you have many others hanging from the trees here? You know, people die here every day. Someone's found in a ditch, another one falls in a mano, a third one gets eaten by stray dogs. Jesus. If someone has decided to die on top of a tree, then how is it my concern? Come on, tell me what you know. Well, little point asking about the body. That's another question. If you get lucky, I might even have answers for them. Indeed. Help yourself to some. Wait. No. Ah, oh, it's empty. Sorry about that, pal. I let you sleep. The dock worker doesn't answer. His head is already back down on the table. In sweet sleep. Mm -hmm. oh, we got some more information. Wait, 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 what? Uh huh. Still nothing. The lieutenant gives you. What will he tell me? Yes. Uh, nothing. Okay. Also nothing. I open this. It's a broken down bathroom door. The bed is cold and not particularly inviting, but it's yours. The sheets look awful. Mm -hmm. The option to go to sleep becomes available every night after 9 p.m. Uh -huh. Also tries not to look at the pile of tape viscera on the carpet, or the weird suitcase on the hat rack, or the potted plant dying in the corner. Okay. But it's, the man is finding it hard not to trip on the tape, and not to send any of the bottles rolling across the floor. Where unidentifiable sludge makes it hard for him to breathe. Smells of vomit in here. I'm sorry for this. I did it. This is where the mansion happened. Say nothing. I'm sorry for this. No problem, officer. Okay, there is literally nothing. Let's go outside. Maybe outside is something. This is because. Okay. 
RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? Mm, I have some questions for of you. Of course. What can I help you with? Uh, what is this for Frick the Police business? Excuse me? There's Frick the Police paying to it. Oh. Well, I didn't write it there. I didn't mean that. I'm just sitting here. I didn't mean to startle you. Okay. Who are you exactly? Me? I am just a gardener. She hides it well, but behind the sweat and dirt there is something else in her rigid posture. Smell you. Oh, cool. And what are you doing here? I mean, I just got another question then. But what are you doing here? I am working. Working on what? I have a greenhouse in the yard there. Shh. I've been trying to get some work done. But? Well, as you probably know, there's a corpse hanging from a tree there. It smells pretty bad, so I have to take breaks. Continue. Don't worry, miss. We are here to clean it up. You can get to work soon. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. My head is about to explode from all the salts I've had to inhale. Salts? Ammonium salts. Perhaps useful for later. We need directions. Since the street signs messed up, uh, where okay, am I? What do you mean? Uh, this is uh, just maybe where we are, okay? We're in Martinez, sir. This intersection is called Roundabout North, I think. What's up, the There's north? The pier, the Cape Side apartment buildings. Okay. Some more tenements. Not a lot, really. What's in the east? The harbor gates. Some the kind hobbits? of commotion, I think. Okay. I don't follow the local politics. Uh, a fleet store, too. What's in the south? Some shops and a bridge. The canal bridge leads to the coast, but it's broken, I think. Some kind of accident, probably. What's on the other side of the canal? Just coast. There's a little fishing village there and a fish market. But uh, that got closed down ages ago. What's in the beast? It's just water. No, actually, I think they call it the Martinez Inlet. Mm -hmm. There are some islands in the bay, but they're hard to reach. Okay. Where is it exactly, the corpse? It's there. In the yard, right through the hole in the fence. Okay. Even all the way over here, there's a drop of death in the spring air. Thanks, that's all for now. No problem. She's very well composed. I have to of run. Of course. If there's a corpse, I'm then you're going to need those gloves for the autopsy. One more thing. Can I borrow your gloves? Sure. Keep them. Thank I you. I have another pair. Thank you. Goods for Lori have a facility. Gloves for winter. Glossy magazine. Jump champs. Trash can. You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. Mm -hmm. The raincoats <clears throat> are transparent, except for the big Fritta slogan on the back. The packages are small, discreet, sloppily stacked, making them easier to take unnoticed. No need to worry about knocking over a display. I want to buy... What's that point on the raincoat? What is what? Continue. Um, it's a raincoat. If you want to buy one, then it's only four real. Can't, uh, okay. Her attention is drawn to the raincoats, 
Stealing one undetected will now be more difficult. Here you go. Nice. Welcome to Frit. Feel free to look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. What's that magazine she's reading? What magazine are you reading? You mean this? Ah, yes. Uh, hosting a colorful pot of two girl kisses. This is Pop Stars. It's got like famous people in it. It's not for sale. Okay. Looks like it also has something called Police Della Mode. Featured on page 34. Perfect on that. What is this fashion this police features? Point out of their power. Um, it's where they rate different outfits famous people wear. It's kind of funny. They're kind of mean. It's about who's the most stylish. Who's the number one guy in the right now? And does he look like this? Point out to yourself. Um. <laughs> that lazy eyes can see up and down. It's interesting this situation. No, I, I don't think, think so. so. Pain. We are not the fashion police. We're the real police. Before we go on, what uh, what is this Fritle? I don't know. Frit? Oh, what is... What A is... 7 to 11 grocery store. Where's Frit the 30? I think they think that the extra tea makes it funkier. It doesn't. The story goes that normal Fritta with two teas a men's workwear shop in Vredefort was already taken. So when Fritta Retail Inc. grew into a multinational corporation, they had to add an extra letter to avoid trademark infringement. Okay. Uh, let's proceed. Um, okay. But, uh, I'm not really supposed to be chatting anything to anyone, about this but... Reality. Reality? You mean, what reality? Economic reality, or...? Yes. She is like a student unexpectedly called upon by a teacher. Can Wait. she answer the classroom question? Yes, tell me about the economic reality. I don't really know anything. I mean, I'm 15. What about the physical reality then? I don't know. What about it? Where are We're we? For it? We are as mankind or <laughs> as a nation or... What will her essay prompt be? As mankind. In a good place. Yeah. I mean, science is doing great, and this radio computer thing seems to be kind of big. I don't know. Uh, We're in Frit as mankind. What will her essay prompt be? Um, um we're in a... We're in a... It's a nation. We're in a... Transition, you know, transitioning from uh, monarchy to democracy, all that stuff. What time is it? I don't know. Look at the clock. It's right behind you on the wall. The clock shows the time at 10.09. The hands seem to be still. It's apparent the clock doesn't work. What is the revolution? When ordinary people take over the government and um, demand democracy. Uh, what about then all we had here in Revanche? Yeah, it happened like 50 years ago or so. Sorry, I'm not very good at this. Escalation, history, was I that mean. someone told me there is one? Our government? Or do you mean something else? I won't bother you with that now, nonsense. This article. Cool. Uh, about the dead body. Um, I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but I haven't seen it, so. Did you know the man who died? Not really. Do you know him a little? Um, no. I didn't know him at all. Uh, how long has it been there? I don't know. Really long. What did you think happened? Um, I don't know. No need to worry. It's just standard procedure for us to ask around. If you hear anything, let us know, okay? Okay. Thank you for your help. Uh huh. Do we got anything else? A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, uh -huh. nasal sprays, and blister packs. They all bear the Saint Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. Their logo is the bloodless rose, pure white, untouched by harm. Um, 
just ask me if you need anything from St. Batiste. We don't stock prescription meds, but we do have Nosafed, Duramine, Magnesium, and Hypnogamma. Are those products too? Um, I don't know. Let's see. Nosafed is a nasal spray. Duramine is a really good painkiller. Magnesium is a dietary supplement. Hypnogamma is... Uh, she stopped. I don't really know what Hypnogamma is. I guess it makes you feel less shit. It's recommended to use after lots of partying, studying or exercising. Um, maybe... Uh, thank you for explaining this. Uh-huh. Who sent what this stuff? St. Batiste. You know, the pharmaceuticals company. St. Batiste Pharmaceuticals. The one that sells meds out of St. Batiste. That one. <laughs> there. She is right. Saint Baptiste, the company, derives its name from Saint Baptiste, the city. Itself so named because that's what it is. A rare case where that really is the full etymological history. As far as almost anyone knows, at least. Uh huh. Okay, here. I hope Saint Baptiste makes you feel better or something. Thank you. So I don't have any money. All the money I stole. <laughs> Still money, bro. Oh, you don't want to. Okay. Huh? They go. Talk to him. Welcome to Ayvashol. Racist lorry driver. Announcing the retirement of Marmark is interested. It's interested in it. Why are you addressing my partner like that? Don't you welcome to Revashol me. My grandfather came here from a 3,000 year old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Every school of thought and government has failed in the city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. Yeah, you tell him. What happens? You sound angry, Kim. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. What he means is, Fixation on the Revisholian nation makes it harder for Revisholian to actually attain self-determination. It's right, you're undermining our best shot of the real self -de Stop ripping into this guy, he's just really proud of being a Limbo, what's going on here? Number one. Oh, come on, man, I just said, uh, welcome to Revisholian. Uh, it's a lorry driver thing. I know exactly what you meant. You think my kind doesn't belong here, that I should watch myself and behave. But you see, I'm an officer of the RCN. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. Silence. The air between them becomes tense. Your partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. Got your bank, give it a little up. In the short well, I think we'll learn something here. Smile at Lorimer. Well, that's it, that tells we have a couple of questions. Whatever you say, officers. He smells of heavy motor oils and his breath of high tar content cigarettes, probably Astro Whites. What are you holding? Oh, not much anymore. I'm here to pick up some cargo, but uh, the dock workers are on strike, so uh, it's a sit and wait on your ass situation. What are your cargo supposed to pick up? Apples. Apples is exactly the kind of thing you'd say if you had something to hide. Apples? Yeah, apples. I take it you had other questions? What was that argument all about? Uh, it's about biological determinism, natural law, the sorting of the races. Not the most popular topic nowadays, with a coalition in charge, you know. You might want to change the topic. That is, bury your head under the sand like common sheep. It's to be a unpopular guy. Also, you're just a racist, makes sense. 
Be on a second, Ray. Do you remember what you meant? Please explain. And on a second thought, let's talk about something else. Just a racist. I'm not just racist. Look, I've read books. Huh? The science of racial theory has all been proved, even if uh, some people don't want to accept it. Uh. People who've studied these things say that uh, you and me are superior by design. So, uh, naturally, we Occidentals should be in charge. Obviously, you can see the merits in that. Uh, okay, what else have you thought of? So, lately we Occidentals have experienced an unfortunate downturn when members of the superior race cease to believe in their innate superiority. They stop competing for resources. Okay, and? This concerns you, policemen, so you better be vigilant. The damn kits are showing up good lately. Same with the mosquitoes. And the other intruder species too. They're on the precipice of cultural victory. Dude. Dude. Cultural victory? What is this then? What, wait, what is this cultural victory? It's what the keeps of Boogie Street are going Hi, Melon. for. Hi, Melon. Welcome. Right How are you doing? Noses. And the others too, on the radio. Heard any chanson lately? Heard any motetos or oh. leader? No, <laughs> dominating culture is I'm how wiggling, they like to win. I'm wiggling, 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 wiggling. Uh huh. It's true. Also, you need to realize the dangers. I'm not done with this. Like this. Why don't you Who go to? Might happen okay, sure, whatever. I'll tell you that. Talk about something else. You go right ahead. Bam, you bam, may be bam, a cop, bam, 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 but that won't help you avoid the calamity to come. Lieutenant Kitsuragi's stern expression remains unchanged, but you sense something there, below. Huh? Not a lot of moral fiber on this one yet, he thinks, wriggled out of it. Can we done for now? Okay, let's check the... let's... oops. Let's check... No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Okay, let's, let's jump around. No. Okay, let's see what we got here instead. Who's this guy? I am a gander and a hunter and a gatherer. Feel like a traveler. A simple little cadence. He seems to be making it up as he goes. Keep listening. From another planet. Hey there. What's going on here? It's the jam, my man. The air from the east is thick with the smell of crude oils, heavy metals, and other byproducts of the modern era. You could almost taste it. It's a traffic that? jam for the ages. Harbor gates up the street are shut tight. No explanation given. Workers on strike, scabs agitating, an all around clusterfuck. Don't just stopped over here. Oh, holy shit. Uh. I'm good, I'm good. Just a little bit tired, but I'm good. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long haul limbo for days upon days upon days. Upon uh, days. Upon days, upon days. Never was that full where I am where I am. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Don't it's official. Home. He too agrees. This is the antechamber of the afterlife. So how long have I been you here? Feels like forever. Like I was born on this here roundabout and this was all I ever knew. Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes of mazout. Mazout is an antiquated term for heavy fuel oils. I this man can has a barely suppressed performative streak. Or he just likes unusual words. Not what you just said. Yeah, I, I, I rolled with it. Yeah, imagine. 
It's been a whole week already. So tell me, what do you need? Tell me about this strike. It's like, whatever's going on over at the docks. Workers got a blockade set up, making demands. No way in or out. No way in or out. No way in or out. Going on strike would probably help you dodge a bullet or two. What's the union demanding? Some pretty wild stuff, I hear. Like a giant new power crane in half the company? I forget what exactly. Good on them, I guess. I've heard talk there's a company rep in town, too. Like, a strike negotiator type. They'd know what's up. Precise demands and so on. Uh-huh. Ah, yes. From the Wild Pines. We'll meet her soon enough, I'm sure. Uh, what do you think, uh, uh, the company wants? They want to keep that money flowing in, my man. Ka-ching. Ka-ching. Ka he doesn't blame them. But he's not on their side, that's for sure. I should go on a strike. Maybe you should. Cops don't get paid much and the hours are long. Plus, you can get shot. Why not? The RCM is a self-managing organization that operates on donations. We promote our own leaders. It would be like striking against your own mother. Uh, I don't know my mother, but I... I'd go on a strike against her too for my rights. Hmm, I guess you got a point there. No, you, mother. Yes, but do continue. You're anything else? Us lorry drivers. Cam, your nurse. You still hang around here waiting for this mess to end. Most have scurried off somewhere to get drunk or high. Or laid. Uh huh. Not that I blame them, really. Not you? Not my thing. Chasing transient pleasures is a drag these days. I prefer the examined life now. Mm -hmm. Thinking, reflecting, mm -hmm, observing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He tries his best to look nonchalant, but there's a rigidity in him. Here's as if trying to conceal something stiff. warm and deep beneath a cool exterior. Huh? Huh? Oh. No, I ain't got any money. They don't want to pay for unfinished work. Say who? The bosses, man. Uh, first work then pay. Makes sense. It sucks is what it does. No, not anything about uh, the dead man. He ain't one of us drivers. I know that. All accounted for. Otherwise, I haven't really asked about that. Been wasting time right here. Keep him busy. Mm -hmm. It's easy to see he's telling the truth. He's kept his nose out of the dark stuff. Uh, busy with what? Analyzing the fundamental structural and psychological conditions <laughs> of being stranded in the midst of a sea of motor lorries <laughs> and their sad, despondent chauffeurs. Ask for his conclusion. And your conclusion? A sense of surprise there ain't more bodies hanging from more trees. What are you ha howling anyway? Oh, high grade narcotics, illegal firearms, stuff like that. Uh huh. Relax. He's merely joking. Okay, and to <laughs> I always want to f a friend in the underworld. Ha! No, I'm joking, my man. Found runs a nice, clean business. This hollow cargo is mostly sporting goods. You know, tracksuits and that kind of thing. Continue. They usually get shipped to Grad in the Occident. Though we've been making headway in the Il Moran market lately. So nothing illegal then? Not unless they've illegalized sports equipment while I was on the road. That's your machine behind you? This rocking beauty. Sure is. Like a rash you can't get rid of. <laughs> you interested in heavy-duty cargo machinery? A motor lorry, also called a camion, on Caillou and neighboring islands. This one looks roughed up enough to be some sort of found rust bucket. Maybe the A6? That's the flame A6 you got there. Good eye, my man. Yup, she's an old one, but reliable. Me and uh. her spent a long time together. Uh, could I get one of those flan tracksuits you're holding? We're pals and all, but I can't just freely hand out the merchandise. I have the a, bosses won't be happy. I have another question. The man taps his fingers rhythmically against his arm. You see in his eye. I'm good now, good talk. Don't be a stranger. Okay, yeah. nice. Okay, here's literally nothing. Oh. Can't go across, right? Oh. 
What is this? Slogan Humax soon. An old monument stands in the middle of the traffic island, pointing toward the sea. It looks as if it's being reassembled piece by piece, secured and mounted in the air with the aid of numerous ropes and rods. Who is this? A silver plaque on the statue's pedestal reads, I am Philip III, the squanderer, the greatest of the Philippian kings of Revachol, son of Lip II, the opulent, father of Philip IV, the insane. As you look up, you notice something about the statue. There are some odd indentations on the king's chest piece. What did this? What did he do? You have no idea what you did a week ago. <laughs> High above you, the king stands triumphantly oblivious to your memory trouble. What an indentation! What do I Something see? Something with great kinetic energy seems to have impacted the cuirass around uh -huh. where the heart is. A bullet. Someone shot him in the heart. Interesting. Okay, I can't see it, but I take your word for it. Don't well, think. Martinez is riddled with bullet holes. This place saw a lot of action during the revolution. But the statue is recently renovated, so maybe a joke? Uh, Target practice or a political statement? Uh, it's gonna and he's political. It's a king and he's shot. Not possible. Maybe it's connected. The murder. If we connect every bullet hole in Martinez to the murder, we'll get an overwhelming amount of loose threads. But then again, we don't really know what we are dealing with here, so I've made a note. Don't hold your breath. Okay. The king stands high above you, surveying. L let's look at the. Uh, let's look at the body. How did I get here? How, how, how did I get here? Uh, how did I... No. Take it. The small, wrinkled woman does not greet you. She nods along to something on her radio. A photograph is clutched in her hands, and there is a warm smile on her face. The photo, an ambrotype from the turn of the century, as golden as her smile. So, ma'am, I'd like to ask you some questions. No response. Wherever this woman is, your words fail to reach her. Wait. She's just a distracted old woman. Better to leave her alone. If you say so. Okay. I trust you on this part, no? A Stars Riker, one of the finest Jimps made motor carriages ever. An oldie, but a goldie. Who drives these? Not many people outside of Grad and Revachol West, too, it appears. Hey, Kim, check this out. It's Dash Heiko KK2. That's a classic model. Never thought I'd see another one repainted after what happened last time. Hold on, maybe I can impress him. Do I know what happened last time? What happened last time? An Kim? old case for my precinct. A couple of Jim's migrants saw a stage Raiko stopped in the street, painted just like this, muddy brown. Murdered the driver on the spot. They said it was an honor killing, Hussar style. The Jim's community protested the trial, flying the banners of some old king or whatever. Mm -hmm. 5,000 came to protest. LOL. Correction. 4,395. The fourth largest public protest of a criminal trial. 4,395 people were on the protest. Who are this? The Ajmeix community. People we are paid to protect. Let's leave it at that. Uh, what did they sent, uh, sentence the killers to? Four years for murder in reunion. But it's just a fraction in the car. You know? The perps were remorseful. 
There's sorry, not eight years off the sentence. Mm -hmm. That's the system. The prisons in the greater Rivershall Industrial okay. Harbor are already full. Prisoners are expensive to maintain. So the longer the sentence, the larger the cost. Dude, would you handed man he have been the driver of this car? I try to avoid drawing far gone conclusions like this before actually examining the body. But my initial guess is the two are unrelated. Okay. Oh, proceed. I've got an opinion to point out. Point. Is that so, officer? Yeah. I'll take you at your word. Interesting. Before we proceed, I've got an opinion on this paint job. Yes, detective. It looks better, brown and black. Should have left it in baby blue. You sure you're not James? <laughs> yes, you're sure you're not. Or if you are, it's only in that Revisholian way. Still Four to five no idea. maximum. A lorry stuck in the traffic jam. This big, heavy, grab made machine mm -hmm. is well kept for such an old machine. Okay. Look at the window. The windows are clear. They've been recently washed. You can see a lorry man's cabin with personal belongings, stickers, insignia. What the stickers insignia? The driver has adorned his space with a substantial collection of peculiar paraphernalia. Proclamations about honor, strength, and purity are glued to various panels. That's probably the car of the A large dude. metal pendant hangs from the rear view mirror. Mm -hmm. The pendant features a sun crown with wavy rays. Okay. It is the seal of Royalist Era Revachon. What about the back seat? The back end of the cabin has a small perch to sleep, large ashtrays. There are several suns and wheels sewn into the curtains. A book with ragged edges catches your notice. The front cover features a large muscular man. The title reads, Man from Eelmdal in the Lost City of the Pygmies. Racist nationalist paraphernalia. Not unusual in this part of town. You think this, this lot of is our guy? Belong to the tough guy? Likely, yes. This guy's proud of who he is. Mm -hmm. Drinks it all over his machine. There he is, in front of Peter. Smoking nervously. Hope. We got skill point to spend um logic character sheet. Uh drama. Let's go with logic. Let's talk to him. We have a right to work! Um, the man yells towards the harbor gates, his voice is louder. Hold on. Hold up and stay frosty, everyone. Cops are here. You here to fuck with us? Beat the honest worker down. Uh, why should I? We're here to fight for a cause. Stripes usually have problems with people who have causes. I'm thinking, uh, the problems with people who have hit, and I am thinking, no. Good. We're fighting for a cause here. Right to work! Right to work! work. Besides, we're not that different. It helps if people see us talking, cops and strike breakers together. Shows authorities are on our side. What are we talking about? Builds confidence. I've chosen any science yet. Regardless, I have some questions for you. Maybe you should ask them the questions. Like, why we're not allowed to make a living here? Shame on you! We have families to feed, you piece of shit. So do we, Scott. What is the strike? When a bunch of ungrateful, lazy cockroaches can't get their act together, uh -huh. decide to block honest work for other people. What do the strikes want? Beats me. They mumble nonsense about boardrooms and workers' rights, while we have the right to work! There's something odd in the way he carries himself. 
His set of clothing looks vaguely mismatched. The different pieces of the attire seem ill-fitting. Ill-fitting, what does it mean? His shirt is far too small and an unpleasantly tight fit, while the overalls held up by a belt seem to fit a man with much more confidence. <gasps> Ooh. You're wearing new clothes? He ignores your question, choosing instead to turn to the emaciated workers, raising both fists in the air. The clothes are obviously not his. Ooh, he stole them. Silence is the answer. There's something off. Well, the strike I had to look around. Somewhat. Honest men and women with rights to work, to be useful, not toys for corporate interests. We came here to help the harbor run smoothly in time of crisis. If union fucks don't want work, they ought to let in those who do want work. It's kind of suspicious, though. It is suspicious. Continue. I have a question. Why do all these men follow your leadership? You think they follow because I'm big and loud? Yes. No. They follow the rules of the market, the rules of the economy, economy, because they were given a job to do. You've been talking to him for quite a while now. Something is off with this guy. Not to get into his from. Where are you from? What's it to you? Oh, the strike mess. Routine. Part of the investigation. Am I a suspect? Done no crimes. I only fight for the rights of people. Every once in a while, it's like you can see glimpses of another guy under the guise of this fighter for jobs. He seems a more brutal, cunning, and suspicious person. I already got just that house. I'm interested in you. you Makes sense, I guess. Never mind. We're all workers, right? Workers stick together. Came from the eminent domain in Jamrock. Backgrounds in odd jobs, heavy lifting, uh -huh. cargo hauling, bouncer work. I know the drill. There's an old bar has been thrown out from someone. Maybe that's why I seem familiar. The bones. Worked at Territorial. Ring a bell. I've been there. No, right now, but I might have been there. I don't really remember things. Uh huh. It was a long time ago. I want to get into high airport too. Have fun. <laughs> Union shits are on full strike. The don't think place they're here behind the hostel. Continue. Trying to meet their fat boss. I know nothing about a murder. Absolute nothing. Wouldn't put it past these harbor bugs. Okay. They do anything to stay alive. Right to work. This is in my. It's shameful. Cops doing nothing. We should bring back up. Open up the gates for us. Blockading gainful employment for workers is a crime. Is in my area of expertise. We are not picking a side in this just yet, sir. Pity. Let us work. Well, what is your goal here? We were promised work. We'd be in there working. If the bastards hadn't shut the gates. And you are unable to breach the entrance? Main gate's locked. Would take heavy ordnance to bust it open. Could try to get in through the secretary's office. Doors locked. The guards blocking the way to the access panel. Okay. And I don't mean the scrawny mess punk either. I mean head measurer. Or whatever he is. You considered storming in like you all all of you? But Wait, head manager? Huge Seminese guy standing up there on the overhead passage. Won't let anyone by. The access panel is right behind him. How could we let a guy be? Bad. Standing on a narrow bridge, he's got a strategically advantageous position. And he's trained. Ooh. I don't know how the Union has a trained killer up there. Why don't you? But that one's no joke. And my men are tired and hungry. They're workers. Why don't you fighters. just talk to them? Like civilized folk, you mean? These native fucks don't understand civilized. Uh huh. It would be better for the neighborhood if you went home, at least for now, if you can't get in anyway. No! They will give up eventually. I'm gonna leave or now. Or get drunk. Leave the button unguarded. Then we charge. Mm hmm. Okay. So. 
clearly there is some suspicion going on. Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery, bearing the number 57. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion. The Cuprice Kinema motor carriage. Open the door. In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, uh -huh. and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. A scent of leatherwork and heavy fuel oils washes over you. Up on the fuel preheater gauge? As you tap on the gauge, the indicator pin jerks as if startled. It's in the large orange sector, indicating the engine is warm. Next to the gauge is a red switch, labeled heat. Okay. There's no use pressing the heat button. It won't start without the ignition key. Translation. We're not going anywhere right now. Uh, over the steering uh, levers? The white suede feels luxurious under the touch, and the metal clutch handle so very familiar in your palm. Okay. Your fingers waste no time closing around the handle. Oh, you're my clutch friend. disengaged. Release the handle. Clutch drops. Right foot yearns for the familiar touch of the accelerator pedal. You have synced with the Ooh. machine's mechanical circulation. Oh, are you my friend? The smell of freshly treated leather. The lack of dirt and dust on the dashboard. And a neat little brush in the cup holder. All seem to be whispering. I'm good. Cherished and cared for Do in I the know? hands of attending owner. Do I know how to operate this machine? You feel an uninterrupted connection to the machine. I mean, mechanics. I know how to pilot it. After a while, you realize silence is your only answer. Do what you will with it. Uh -huh, of course, again. it's only in your head. Of course, it is. Where have you but been? It almost feels as if the clutch handle is gently squeezing back. Oh, shit. Despair creeps into you, Oof. getting fat on your weakness. Whatever noble intentions you once had as a police officer, it's eating them all up now. What is going on? You're still coming up with sentences. That's a step up from total annihilation. And uh, right. I'm quitting for I wasted my life protecting humans. And I know even uh, I wish I was fucking oh fudge. Yes, it can be difficult to be on the receiving end of so much distrust and outright hatred. Nothing you can say would make you feel any better now. Cop gives up the detective genre for social realism. Another police officer resigned from the RCM following a nervous breakdown. He now lives under a bridge, drinking and occasionally throwing excrement at passers-by, shouting, I never loved that woman. When asked to comment, Former colleagues objected to the theory that his psychological disintegration was precipitated by his wife leaving him. It's because the furrows lost that match, said Captain Patolomy Price, once the man's superior officer. It's because he couldn't get a big gun from acquisitions and, anyway, police work really burns you out after a while, satellite officer Jean Vitmer, the deranged former cop's partner, commented. Sergeant Matt Torson, another former colleague, did not propose any theories, merely saying, whatever happened to him wasn't about birds. He got fucked, that's all. Dude, I died. <laughs> uh, and it's so funny. Jesus. Okay, let's uh, go and uh, check that place out first. An old call box with a matrix of push buttons lists all the companies in the east. Okay, wait, 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 we're gonna go here. Yo, dude, Kuno's got this. Throwing rocks in the white body. 
If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness. Like a, like a gremlin. gremlin. Oh yeah, not a comfy kuno! Uh, hey kid, have a word, police business. A moment of your time, please. Can't talk, pig. Shit's coming up strong. Throwing rocks. Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Juicy Joyous. Rocks. What you should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. Juicy what now? I mean drugs. The kid's on drugs. What? Yeah, Kuno! Ride the lightning, Kuno! Kuno's riding it, see? Do I see it from here? It's brown, sends another rock flying. The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! The fuck does Kuno know what a rake is? Yeah, what should Kuno's we do? Are you kids siblings? Kid, you wanna hang out? I'm not enough. Okay, I have a question for you. The fuck are you talking about? He's calling us f Kuno! He Kid, says what? we're fucking each other! Kim, what should we do? We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. What forces? You will see. The language these kids are using. Pure unfettered id. There will be no reasoning with those creatures. You wanna hang out? I'm not an arc. Fuck no! Kuno doesn't buy that shit! Fucking entrapment shit! What the hell? Fast. This kid has got street smarts. All right, entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. The kid moves his hands like a basketball player dribbling fast. Other crimes and your kids often play this yard? Who's Kuno? Kuno's Kuno, pig? Uh -huh. There's always Kuno, never I. Clearly, the kid's using the third person. To distance yourself from the situation. Refer to yourself as a third person. Kuno, is that some kind of gang name? Yeah, Kuno's in a fucking gang. In a bang gang. Kuno bangs for Magie, bangs for Mazda, bangs for Revishol. Watch out, Kuno, he's trying to fiddle you. He's gonna put his hands on you. Uh huh. He's got the Kuno help! Everyone can hear. You need to get the hell out of here before. Just answer the question. Help! He's digging his dick out! What the hell? Escalate, Kuno! His dick is out! You're afraid! Pigs in here, Kuno! Somebody, please! How did we get here? How did this happen? This makes no sense. I don't know what there may still be a way sick, uh, out. Just appeal to his put you reason. Up to this? Are you a high trainer? Is it gonna shut him down? Who we'll put you up to this? No one. Kuno's doing this because he likes it, pig. Help! The pig's gagging him! Kuno can't speak! No, what is the sick charade? No! <laughs> Get off Kuno, you sick fat fuck! Oh my god. The nearly psychopathic way they can slip in and out of the act implies. You're not the first victim. Uh, be logical, kid. Fucking logical! <laughs> Help! The logical pig is fiddling Kuno! I'll put you, you up to put this. You him up to this yourself when you decided to talk to him in the first place. Listen to your f friend. <laughs> okay, no one put you up. Did Garter put you up to this? Kuno owns the fat ass. The RCM is trying to fuck Kuno! Are you high right now? Help! Misters, help! He's flashing Kuno! He's showing his genitals! You if you what? don't help Kuno now, it'll be too late! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't shut him down. Oh, it's my arm and my fucking knee. didn't meet its target. Instead, uh. it pulled you down with it. <laughs> Kuno can't believe this shit! <laughs> Can no one stop the Kuno? Oh. Pig, Kuno thought you had this. What happened? Kuno can do anything now. Damage morale. Despair creeps into you. Um. It, in fact, on your weakness. You're still coming up with sentences. I'm seriously running all this shit to give it. Uh -huh. Right? 
Is it protecting humans and the oh, I don't dispute that you have been charged with protecting the people of a particularly challenging district. Uh. Nothing you can Cop gives up the detective genre for social realism. Another police officer resigned from the RCM following an. LOL. What the hell? So I have to pay attention to that too. I... A simple little cadence. You sure are from another. It's the jet. The air. It's a traffic. Meanwhile, we're all stuck. Yeah. It's official. Feels like Mazut is an antiquated term. Yeah. So tell me, what do you need? Huh? The bosses, man. Makes. It's like going on strike would probably help you. Maybe the RCM is a self man. Okay. But do con. Maybe you should. The RCM is a self managing organization. Yes, but do continue. Some pretty. I've heard. Ah, yes. From the wild pines. They want to. He doesn't blame them. Anything. Us lorry drop. Not my thing. He tries his best to look nonchalant. He ain't one. It's easy to see he's telling. Analyzing the. Ask for his con. A sense of surprise there ain't more bodies hanging from more trees. Oh. Relax. Ha. No. They usually get shipped to Grod and the Oxidans. Not unless they believe. Not unless they believe. This rock and beauty. Sure is. Like a rash you can't get rid of. You interested in heavy duty cargo machinery?
Sorry, I got a phone call. I am back. I am back. I am back. Continue. Good for now. Good luck. Okay. Let's try and find more stuff. Uh, and this time, maybe not trying to die. Oh shit, I forgot to turn off. Sorry guys. So oh, sorry. Yeah, um, got a phone call I had to answer. An old monument, a silver pl as you look up. You notice a silver pl as you look up. You something, someone shot it. Okay, well, Martinez is riddled with bullet holes. If we connect, I've made a note. The king stands high above you, surveying even by the standards of the well, his own Let's man manage to blow through the entire national treasure. Stories have it that he called it the like to sleep on gold last time. But wait, you haven't even heard about his fabled cocaine addiction. What? You see, old Philippe wasn't just good at squand cocaine. His Majesty's courtiers said that's what the revolutionaries said. Beneath the Cold War, the original, most historians, some years ago, the statue oh, was supposed to yeah, capture yeah. the most people in those crit Philip the Third. Not that he ever did in life either. Uh -huh. Cool. So now we got no skill points. Take. Shit. Take all. The small the photo, an ambrotype. No response. Wait, she's just a distracted old woman. Okay, do we have anything here? Nope. Let's continue looking for more stuff. Nationalist, but likely. There he is. A logic. Quick save. Bastards! Oh, you here to fuck with us? Beat the honest worker down. No. Good. We're fighting for a cause. Besides. We're not that different. Might be time. I don't trust cops. Rights of people. Uh -huh. His manner of speaking is wooden. Maybe you should ask. We have that. So do we, Scott. Have fun. About the murder. Shit. I know mm. nothing about okay. work, but it passed it. Right to work! We are not big pity. Uh, what that is the strike? Well, it's la, la, la. something odd in the way he his shirt is far too small and he ignores your silence is the answer honest men of what we can't i have a quote you think they follow because i'm big and you've been talking to him for quite a while what's it to you big mess every once in a while it's like you can see deep. we're all workers right worked at territory uh-huh it was a long time ago we were promised work we main gates and I don't mean the scrawny mess huge sem bad. I don't know how the union has a trained kill. Why don't you? It would be better for No! They will give up. Okay, there's there's Guru. Okay. Scab? You're hazy on the notion of a scab. It okay. smells like politics, though. Okay. Maybe it's got something to okay, do with okay, the flask okay. he reaches for from time to time. What a scalp. A kind of a worm. Content with mere survival. They come, they want to do our job for shittier pay, screwing over both themselves and us. Like Everybody to... loses. 
You don't li seem to like them. Gotta be bloody stupid, freaking evil to scan. Or I guess scared maybe. Uh -huh. But scared of what? Of who? Personally, I'd rather beg than scan. If the gentleman shouting on the street came begging, maybe they'd have gotten something. You tried to talk to them? We'd explain the matters, but they don't listen. Mm -hmm. This lot would be reasonable and go home if the big guy wasn't riling them up all the time. Big guy. He means the leader of the scabs. Oh, don't. Uh, wait your first try to work. Not a scab, I'm a cop. Proceed. I was just messing with you. No one's ever seen a cop scab. Imagine, you cops going on a strike, but then another cop comes in and says, let us cop for less money. <laughs> Psst, show him your stolen card. Now has to arrive the perfect moment. Speaking of, who oh. brings the RCM here? Uh, to the wild north? Come to see the strike? Uh, uh, I'm actually a work like you guys. The man looks at the colorful piece of plastic, then at you, then... Um, but that's not you, officer. It's an old picture. From back when you were not a cop, but a heavy-set, dark-skinned dock worker named Santiago John? Yes. Highly unlikely. I've known John for several years now. <laughs> also, you told me you're a cop, remember? Uh. How did you get his shift card? Now you're in a mess. The time has not arrived. Sorry. <laughs> I've wandered on the ground and the vine in the ring legs. Oh, John's been out drinking himself blind again? He should watch his step, that John. Can I have the card? No, it will prove useful still. Uh, Leave your thieving fingers. No, I'm afraid the card is evidence. And, uh, no need to continue my undercover infiltration with devices that was just on for no reason. Sure, I have no real need for it. Thank you plenty. I'll make sure John gets his card back. Continue. You're quite the righteous man. Come to investigate. A respectful distance from each other. So, what do you need? I've come to Marty's to investigate a murder. Murder, huh? That sounds like a lot of hard work. It's actually You've very never seen me investigating fun anything. and easy. I don't believe you. Post Laventurier said the same thing. They tried to get me to be their postman. So fun, so easy, they said. It's just walking. It wasn't. I'm doing much better here at the harbor. Being an honest uh, man yeah. with a lot of free time on his hands. Uh, I'm a bit in a sh short on money right now. Can you give me some... What's the strike about you anyway? Know, serious business. I'm sure the big boss will be glad to tell you. Okay. You'll have to ask him first. He's a chatty guy. Wants to talk about the strike too. Just can't break the command structure and tell you now. My friend, I respect the right to roam. The open range awaits. I don't operate in that capacity. I'm not a granter of passage. The passage grants itself. If it's so simple, why did the scab leader warn you of the guards blocking the way? That simple? I just walk in? Aye. Walk right past Measurehead and go in. Past Measurehead? Yeah, the two and a half meter tall Semini Supremas is there. Walk right past him, then press the button to unlock the door. Uh huh. Then go past him again. Okay. And you enter the arbor through the office. It's actually uh, quite it's difficult. Uh, I have some question. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure it's not completely impossible. For example, you could best measure head in a physical confrontation. Uh huh. Or you could convert to a semi supremacist worldview. Uh, or, okay. Um, Maybe it actually is completely impossible. Uh, anyone has ever bested him in a physical confrontation? Not yet, no. He's incredibly strong. Okay. Jean-Luc himself would say the philosophy has proven overly heroic for the scabs to convert to. Not enough intuition. Okay, got it. Another thing. Sure. Uh, I'm a bit short of money. Sure thing, my friend. I can help you out. Uh, condition medium. Try to catch. The coin lands into your hand as if it has always belonged there. Appreciate it. Always glad to help out the RCM. Continue. Shame I can't do more. Things are meager at the moment due to... Protesters. You know, the winter's fat is slowly running out and all. Still better than scabbing, though. Every little bit helps, you know. Gotta spend money to make money. The Union has problems getting by. Nothing to worry about, really. The jam's a bit of a mess. Cargo can't get in or out. The rationing is a bit stricter, is all. Supply should last a strike, though. 
I'm always glad to help out when possible. Not like these slithering scabs. No, nice start getting on them moving. Okay. Wait, I'm so lost. Let me buy uh, the the morality buff. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. Okay, here. I hope Saint Batiste makes you feel better or something. Uh -huh. Okay, here. I hope Saint Batiste. Okay, great. Save game. Uh, no. Just want a quick save, please. Uh. Okay. Let's go. Wait, I need to put on the gloss, right? Safe again. Okay, let's do this. Before use, vapor and this must be in the cabin. You are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a, a scent of leather work, the frequency tabler, the soft per. This is precinct 57. Hello. Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st precinct here. I'm putting him on. Operating the radio is easy. Just oh. be confident. Come on, uh, Delta 10. It's firewalk a copy. Yeah, Alice, this is officer from the. Nice to meet you. This is Officer Alice Demetri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Under the green Could you connect me to the a yellow something I need button. to? I was told I need to connect to my station. You I need to, you to connect to my station. Uh, ignore this and press the button label save. I'm done with the radio for now. Just a second, Officer. So, uh, you're here for, uh, okay. Ten two, ten five. This is forty first. Uh, come in. Over. Continue. The man uses relay code. You got this. You're a cop, and cops know relay code. Ten four message received. Ten five relay message. What's your status? Over. Ten eighteen. State your message, sir. I am in a dire need of financial assistance. They might sound odd, but there is personal details I'd like to discuss. Um, Ten nine, over. So I can remember, basically it's gone. Ten four, message received. This is a very serious situation. I need to 1022 the captain, over. Is it him? What does he want? Says he lost his badge and needs to report it. He what? He lost his badge. Hey, what was this? This is communication officer Jules Pidieux, sir. Over. The other one. You mean your partner? Over. What is he saying? <clears throat> He's asking who you are. I'm his goddamn partner. <laughs> it's your partner, satellite officer Vitmar, sir. Over. Did he lose his memory along with his fucking badge? <laughs> He's losing his patience. Who lost his badge? Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? It's Officer Dick Mullen from the best seller, Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. Oh my god. Dick Mullen is not your name. It's the name of a fictional detective who would not lose his badge. Okay. Defend yourself immediately. I tell them to they stop this. Ah, oh, so he lost his badge. Haha, <laughs> like I'm the first cop to ever. He says this has probably happened to other policemen before him and laughs uh, sarcastically. Oh god damn it! Is he fucking kidding? The whole station's gonna be dicked for this. Satellite officer Vikmar is wondering if you might be joking and adds that this tarnishes the reputation of the entire station. Over. Man, dicked us! He's asking you to stop, says this is serious. Of course 
Was it serious? He lost his fucking badge. Satellite officer Vitmar conquers, losing your badge is serious. Over. Anyway, just move on, I want to get it teleported and be done with it. 10 for I hear you, officer. I'm just going to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Over. Fuck me! Mac, come here! You've got to hear this! Dick Mullen lost his badge! Continue. What's going on? Supercopy lost his badge. Ooh. He lost his what now? His badge. He lost his goddamn fucking badge. One moment. Enough of this now. I have another thanks to this guy. The nine come again. I didn't get that. Over. New heights even for Captain Sober. Ask him. <laughs> Ask him <laughs> if he's lost his gun. Oh kill. shit. Sergeant Orson wants to know if you lost your gun too. Check your pockets. Don't. Check your holy fuck. I you don't, don't have my is, gun. Do you? No. It's gone. It's not fucking on you. Ten nine come in officer. Did you get my question? We were wondering about your gun. Over. Even before you can get the words out, <sighs> everything gets scrambled in your brain. He says he didn't lose his gun, or his phone, whatever that means. Ask him to describe it. His gun. Not his fun. Just the gun will do. <laughs> Satellite officer McLean requests a description of your weapon. Over. Uh, it's a gun. What can I say? A regular goddamn murder weapon. You know how they are. Look, I don't have it all right. I don't have my gun. He says it's just a regular gun. Sounds like he's being deliberately vague. Detective Mullen has done it again. Uh, where's my gun? Uh. Dear God, he lost his gun. Oh, oh my, I can't. <laughs> this isn't really a laughing matter. Mac can face a giant of Coco Nur by himself, but this go here, I didn't piss his pants. <laughs> oh, I, I can't. Fuck. He lost his. He still got his wiener. <laughs> oh man. I'm not going to ask him. Oh. Yes, I lost my wiener too. Just lay off, okay? Wondering if you are still in possession of your genitalia. This moment of the effect of us, I don't like. Tell him that. That's a negative. I'm not going to say that. Over. <laughs> What's he saying? Share with the class. He, uh, he said he sodomized your mother. <laughs> The prick ate Mama's vanilla waffles at the captain's birthday party. Some nerve he's got. Sure, vanilla waffles were the only thing he ate? Shut up, Chester. This isn't funny. This is my mom we're talking about. Uh. Tell him to apologize right now. Sergeant Dawson, that okay, uh, sorry, that I was just spent. I thought that it was. His he says he's sorry and he didn't mean nothing by it. Okay. Tell him. Tell him to find his goddamn badge and gun. That's the only thing, thing that matters, matters here. Satellite officer. Vi um, I'm in on it. Then for affirmative, officer is in. Oh God, I. Uh, <laughs> officer, do you I'm the assistance? I'm there. Financial Over. assistance. Then for I hear you. I don't have the authority to grant your request, but what does he want now? He's asking for money. Is he fucking kidding? <laughs> I don't think he is. Don't give that asshole anything. He's just gonna drink it all. Right, uh, that's a negative on the It's a paramount to the investigation that you grant me more money. He says it's important to the case. He isn't getting a red cent. You can tell him that. Request denied, sir. Please, I'm angry. I don't even have a place to sleep tonight. Okay, I've heard you. No funds. Uh, there's a person I'd like to discuss. Uh, okay, then four, sir. I hear you. Relay your question. Over. Wait. Before you say anything stupid, think it through. What? Uh, I need information. Not here. Be smart about this. Ask if he's there alone. Okay. Then four, sir. Hold I'm on. Are you alone in the room? I need some confidential information about my. I want to know if you got my badge description right in the report card. Could you read it to me? Name, rank, date of birth. Please refer to me with my full name in the future. Any news about my family? 
Have you ever told you about my life before? Yeah, let's... Hold on, are you alone in the room? I need some confidential information about myself. That's a negative, sir. I got 10-12 visitors present here. Over. I want to know if... Uh, name rang that of Birch. What? What is it? He's still on the line? Continue. He wants to verify the information on his badge. But of course, it says Dick Mullen, High General of the Revachoian Cavalry Force. Tell him to stop wasting time. What do you need, sir? Be sure to have uh, any news about my family. Ten, uh, excuse me, sir. Over. I just my heard of them, but that's all. Uh, no, sir, I haven't. You're not really keen on mentioning your home life, so I've always assumed things weren't that good on that front. Over. Have you ever told you about my life before, RMC? Then for, well, that's, uh... Does he actually want something, or is he hell-bent on disrupting our work? He asked if he ever told me about his days before joining the RCN. For God's sake, cut this shit out! Tell him to stop wasting time and be a goddamn policeman for a change. Sir, Satellite Officer Vikmar says... I heard him. So, um, was there anything else? Uh, full name in the future. The nine repeat message. I didn't get that, sir. Yes, Over. Sir. Say my name. Sir, I will not have you talk to me in this manner. Over. Just say my name, Julius. Uh, what? What is it? What can he possibly still want from us? He seems intoxicated and keeps asking me to call him by his name. Mullen's drunk and emotionally aggressive. That's new. Wrap it up. Don't indulge in his drunken and Okay. Mm. Over. Complete. Roger that. Ten ten. Over and yeah. out. Pull out the pull out toolbox. The metallic drawer slides out from under the seat uh. and clicks into place. The tools inside are neatly organized. Take what you need, officer. Red it's ticket. going to be a long case. Uh, bar. The bar feels useful for opening all sorts. The handle. Okay. This rope lets you see things. The pull-out toolbox slides back. Uh, tap on the fuel hitter couch. There's no use. Translation. We're uh. not going anywhere right now. The white sway. Your fingers. Do I know no how to operate clock. this machine? You feel an uninterrupted Does this mean I know how to pilot it? At least to clutch to squeeze it and squeeze it again. Of course, it's only in your head. How are you, my friend? The smell of. I'm good. Cherished and cared Where for. Where have you been? At the bottom of the seat. So strange. The at least that the clutch the handle. The handle is pulled back. Somewhere deep inside the drivetrain, the disc is mated to mm -hmm. the flywheel again. In the cabin, you see a set. Okay. Good. We kinda somehow survived it. We somehow end of the day debrief it came. In Croatia. This Posla Vantorie mail collection box has been heavily vandalized with graffito. A closer inspection reveals two bullet holes in the front. A faint sticker on the side reads RCM Emergencies Desk Number 8102 with a slogan, Mankind, be vigilant. <laughs> Interesting. The box seems happy. <laughs> Each shit pig, fucked by the coon, been there, plus, um, sent G with been a crown, have been scribbled on it. Jenny is a whore, okay. and best set mailbox also. Mail collection box. The mail collection box seems cathartic. Thankful even, so do you. You shudder, then you swallow. Leaf. Okay. Yes? Uh, no, 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 no. Stop, stop. Nothing, leaf. No, stop. Ok, 
Okay. What the hell is that? Ah, uh, dude. Hello, sir. Step right in. The store is open. Hello. Are you interested in a new and exciting book? What kind of store is this anyway? It's a bookstore, sir. We sell books, postcards, and some board games. It's called Crime, Romance, and Biographies of Famous People. Continue. And I will... Books, postcards, easy. Even a kid would know all of this. Listen, perfect. Uh, to lecture this kid. Let's go. I know what a book is. A book. Uh... Don't be a fool. No, no, As an expert, hey, no, I it's already your made duty a... to tell what you know to everyone. Um... Sir. Are you okay? It's okay You've if I ask you some questions. For a while now. Okay, sir. I'll try to answer any questions you have. I hope my name is Annette, sir. Uh -huh. My mum, her name is Plaisance. She owns the store. She's inside minding the register or organizing the stock. Feel free to step in and browse our wares. Name the cold. I'm signaling that the store is open. Otherwise, uh, people might not know. They miss out on the crime, romance, and bugs. You are already people. learning the value of hard work that you had. Thank you, sir. I'm happy to help mum out with the store. You'll be at school or something? I do my studies at home at the moment. I have to help mum keep this place running. School is. Uh, isn't it going. Mum says it's necessary to do both because it builds character. Mum says a proper worker is dutiful. That's how you get ahead in life. You succeed. Uh huh. There is stress and unease behind these words. She's reciting etiquette. Oh, it's the business going. Mom says it's peachy. She was a little afraid at first. There's talk about this house being cursed. Cursed in what way? Cursed in the way that makes them say that no business has ever really thrived here, sir. That they all go... Bankrupt? Exactly. But we've been doing fine so far. Thanks, sir. I, just, I should probably look into this. We can go into the bookstore and ask about the case, but I don't see much more to look into here. Yes, please do also look at our wares inside. The postcards and board games mm -hmm. are there, sir. Do you think about other... Nothing really, sir. Mum doesn't allow me to sneak around in the back rooms or the cellar. I don't really know what's there. How does this curse manifest it itself? It does not manifest itself in any way. Plus money it does not exist. I liked it better when we were talking about whether it's appropriate to stand out in the freezing weather. It came the plasmic manifestation. No such thing. Uh, anything else you wanted to it's talk about? Sir? Enough about curse for now. Maybe I can tell you about some of our books instead. What's this, this crime business? Crime fiction is about murders or burglaries or things like that. And the work of a policeman yet. or a private well, detective who's to... trying to solve okay, a crime and catch the criminals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's kind of like a puzzle too. You mm -hmm. can guess who the criminal is or how the good guys are going to catch him. I'm a policeman myself, by the way. You don't look much like a policeman. Well, what do a soccer player look like then? Didn't mean to offend, sir. Sorry, sir. It's just that you don't look like Dick Mullen. You know, my own body actually looks like that guy in the picture. That's just... Uh... It's not your body that's important in police, but anyway, you point to your head. Oh, look at that guy, never. Head? Yes. No. Your, your mind. mind. Not head, child. Heads. Flexibility, there's a million of different people out there, and you have to get the heads, and sometimes you gotta be the killer to catch the killer. Ah, uh, Quicksilver Mind, the Merlin guy, looks like he had needs four horrors to just come with a single idea. No, he's wicked smart in the stories. Like you, sir, of course. <laughs> he's just a fictional character. He's no match for you. Maybe you can show me some real police work, sir. Like in the books. Um, uh, okay, I'm going to deduct something now. The girl keeps her hands folded, hidden. Why is that? What do you mean, sir? You don't need to worry, I'm here to help. She looks around anxiously. Her hands remain folded in front of her. She doesn't want to show them. Continue. The lieutenant stands by, looking at the two of you with little interest. It's okay. She brings out her reddened hands, her nails frayed, 
and it'll eat you down to the flesh. You bite your nails? And you knew this from me keeping my hands folded? Suppose some uh, such as yeah, there was a few other tents. Well, that proves nothing. Anyone could do an easy deduction like that. I want more, but I can figure out why you bite your hands. I got a few reasons in mind. She nods, half provocative. You are uptight because of your mother and the pressure she's putting on you. Let's have been nibbling on your fingers, Charlie, but you know, chewing on your nails means you're recycling your body materials. It is intense dedication on the way of the business. Oh, I think my OBS crashed. We're still alive. Interesting. Maybe so, sir. Anyway, another okay. is deducting by the. And I shouldn't. The way another is the. It was okay, sir. <laughs> There's Continue. more that can be achieved here. Ask her to do the same. And that was mother. I don't need to prove myself something about me. You're quite sober. The lieutenant does not flinch at the comment. He does not flinch even a single bit. He is intensely not flinching. I know I might usually not. Effort. But Dad, maybe you could point towards some booze. And I'm having a grand time. Wait, how do you know I'm usually not? Because you usually aren't. Yeah, but Dad, maybe you could point me towards... And I'm having a grand... I'm also sad and my head hurts. I'm sorry, sir. I hope things get better soon. Thank you. There she stands, swaying on her feet, assaulted by the early spring breeze. She smiles at you. The whole situation suddenly feels familiar, somehow. There's something you're missing. What are you missing here? What does this feel familiar? It's the internet. Wow, you work hard. I do? Oh, yes. You hustle. You're a provider. It's tough out there, but you keep it real and provide. What work do I do exactly? Look at yourself. You're a human pedometer. You must have walked 200,000 steps down cracked asphalt, mosaic, sand, and linoleum after you re-emerged. That is the sign of a hustler who never gives up. The world is harsh and people are evil. You didn't make it that way, and you won't let it break you. I'm not sure you I ride. ride. Oh, you do. You make money. You got gills, baby. Meaning those black papers with the faces of the innocents on them. What? You bring in the Franco Negros and the Solas. It ain't easy, but you do it day in and day out. Made you some gills, sure. But you won't lose. You're a cop and a sprinter and a money printer. Sure, sure. And has it been easy? Is life easy? Have you not gone into cardiac arrest? Are you not about to have an anxiety attack or shoot yourself in the mouth? But you still hustle 24 seven, ride or die. Now, ask yourself, are you rich? Actually not. That's right. You work harder than anyone. You almost rode yourself to the grave and you're oh, still no. practically a hobo. Why is that? I don't know. Why am I so poor? Because of the taxes. G-Man's got his jam-covered sticky fingers in your pocket, stealing from you every time you buy, sell, walk, talk, fart, so much as sneeze. Our tax is almost non-existent in the Gossamer State, them, that is real well, not really, really, every time I sneeze? Every time you wipe your ass, <sighs> they got their direct and their indirect modes of taxation. Sales tax, excise duty, extraction tax, alimony. One tax that doesn't even have a name. Plus there's the stuff people in other countries pay for. That makes them ask for more money from you. Here, total tax duties add up to 98% of okay, so all your money. I guess I'm free man when the now opt in. Are you sure that seems like a pretty big name? 
helping me solve my money problem. It's only making me into a free market type of dog. Here you go, hustler. Fight the righteous fight. Free the people. Okay. Keep it real. Keep it street. Keep foaming at the mouth furiously on the tax issue. What happened? Let's go and, and, and look. Okay. A small mountain of colorful board game boxes. There are numerous types of games for all ages. A lot of shelf space seems to be taken up by Wirral related merchandise. An endless variety of source books, uh -huh. lore books, and codices litter the table. The topmost book is titled Welkin Compendium, second edition. There's also a large hardbound tome with intricate cover art, The Hunters of Catawack, Boreal Creature Compendium, and a Pick Your Path adventure game book titled Tales of Wirral. Cavern of Velcrog. Books in a board game section? Who wants to read books? Uh, anything that really catches my There's eye. There's a box that says Wirral, third edition mega setting supplements module. The side panel notes a fantastic adventure board game, new maps and miniatures. A sticker on it displays 25 real. That price is steep. But then it's the third edition mega setting supplement, so it may. Okay. the alcove they're held up by small pins the board has come loose from one corner the maps look old and faded your eye catches this large map displays archipelagos you see a constellation of small dots on the light blue emptiness of the insulindic ocean the largest in the northeast is la Caillou. you are here another far away in the southwest seminese islands il de phantom what else ozon Laurentide, Fas Alamir, Archipelagos, North Arcade Islands, all just specks of dust on the vastness of the Insulindic. Uh -huh. On the edges of the map, the color fades into a blur of dotted lines, black and white, disintegrating into mathematics. In the northeast, a dust mite stands on the north coast of Caillou in a bookstore. Point first, can you see cities on the islands? You can on Caillou, Revachon, a single black star on Ozon, Fondelier, and Vimandu, on Archipelagos, Croyan Moran, Villiers, on Seminine, Oldivai, and on Laurentide, Deora of the Seven Seas. Uh -huh. 850 million people live on these little dots, an oceanic world of culture and commerce torn apart by history. Look at the edges. The ocean breaks apart into a tangle of cosines and azimuths, all pointing into pale nothingness. Mwindi is the north azimuth. Grad is the northeast azimuth. Uh -huh. Samara is the east azimuth. Seo is the west azimuth. Isolas, they're called. Continue. Connections to other worlds. Words past the Insulindian unknown to you. You only know you've never been there. You have little idea what they are. Distant stars, gods, but looking at them makes you feel almost non-existent. Whatever they are, the Isolas are immeasurably large compared to you and very, very far away. Dude, I have no idea what's going on in this game. I'm so confused. My brain will go broke. Perhaps they are gods, 
gods of distance and outer dust. Don't. What is this game? The north coast of a verdant island is shattered I by the death words of a I've river. never heard before. It is the river Esperance. Brain horde. Countless bridges put the shards back together, connecting city but it's blocks fun, to but river islands. Brain be the like, Delta what is going a great on? artificial heart in the center. So there's Teen some lore or something like that? Construction. Some lore, baby. To the east, rolling hillsides, Le Jardin, Stella Marie, the suburbs of Saint Baptiste, swallowed up into the mega city. They sound rich to you. This is Rivershall East. West of the river? Hudon. It's somewhere to live. Not bad. Somebody once told me they give pay attention, but, but you do. didn't then do it. Oh no. It's almost it's all as bad because and I'm not larger. really then focused right now it's with all the scuff going behind the scenes. It's so small you can't even see it on the map. No, wait. There it is. North of Jamrock. The strip of coast next to the Greater um, Rivershaw um, Industrial um, Harbour. Um, it looks um, downright um, despondent. Um, um, it's almost um, um, Coal City, to be honest. Oh yeah, look at this map of Martinez. It's not really a map, it's a tourist thing. A picture postcard with buildings on it, drawn from an isometric perspective. A date in the upper right corner says 48. Still, it's detailed could be pretty useful. I'm sorry, officer. The map of Martinez is the only one available. The other two are not for sale anymore. And besides, you could scarcely afford them. Okay. They're quite valuable, though they might not look it. The map of Martinez is 90 cents, though. Why is the map of Martinez so cheap? That old thing. It's an out-of-date map of a tourist location that never was nor came to be. Okay. From when some design studio people tried to spruce the place up. Four or five years ago, they also renovated the horse statue, set up those coin-operated viewers, and designed the new street lamps. The place does not look like a successful tourist trap, does it? What happened then? They didn't get that far, for some reason. A shame the project <laughs> never got going. Would be nice if someone fixed Martinez up. All these ruins are bad for business. Wait, I, oh, I cannot save my dialogue. Look at the map. Um... And challenging leaf. Okay. I don't want to steal. These shelves are overburdened with books from the same series. You see the name all Dick over Mullen, there, over and over. A couple of spook novels hide amidst all the detective books. Thrilling tales of spycraft and daring uh -huh. do. Look through this display of crime books. fiction is a disgrace. An asinine misrepresentation of the physical attributes of the arduous everyday work of actual police officers. These books greatly overstate the excitement of police work, glossing over how long it takes to actually follow up on leads and eliminate dead ends. What's more, they completely ignore the psychological hardships of year after year coming into contact with people during the worst days of their lives. Oh, shit. Not a single mention of all the stress this work creates upon the officer's family. Detective fiction just doesn't tell the truth at all. Now, would you like a list of all the books found on the shelf? Sure thing. You see, Dick Mullen on the job. Get me Mullen. The stalwart adventures of the yeah, yeah. is declared. Dick Mullen in the murder house. The final case of Dick Mullen. Oh no, turns out he fated to solve a case. Are there any more? Yes, there's also the tragedy uh, calls for Dick Jesus, Mullen. Jesus, Dick Mullen. After all this, you still haven't found the answer to the one question that uh, matters. Who, who is Dick Mullen? Who is Dick Mullen? Your quick eye notices a small caterpillar crawling across the spine of a book. The title reads, Dick Mullen what do we and have the mistaken here? identity. Mistaken identity. A worn paperback from Dick Mullen's classic hard-boiled phase. The premise seems to be that Dick Mullen is framed for the murder of his best friend. Uh -huh. And has just a few days to prove his innocence. Why does this speak to me? 
Could it be the motifs of unstable identities and shocking betrayals? I'm going into something. That's probably right. I'm a complicated guy full of contradictions. Then this is the book for you. It's all this crime fiction. I can't afford it. I am poor. I don't make enough to afford the book. Welcome to Crime, Romance, and Biographies of Famous People. My name is Plaisance. Be welcome, and please take responsibility uh, be well for the enough. Can you give me some space? money? I feel there won't be any. Uh, so are you the owner of the store? I am. The proudest owner of our little shop of culture. Your daughter is the one outside, right? Annette, yes, my daughter. I hope she wasn't slacking off again with her nose in science fiction. Tell me, was she at her post doing her job like a proper girl? No, she was definitely, uh, yes, of course. Wonderful. Did you talk to her? Yes. Great. On a scale of one to ten, how compelled were you to buy books after talking with her? Very, very polite and helpful. Five, I felt some interest. Oh no, it's interesting. I'm not going to gra great being I don't do that. And she certainly are very polite and helpful. My precious. Her dedication brings joy to my heart. If you have children, I hope they turn out as great as my Annette. Um, it's quite a trooper. She's great value of art. Appear to dismantle the free market and uh, polish the child. I, I get she's a trooper, all right? She looks like she can take it, but it's actually wearing her down, you know? She's been biting her nails. God, uh, I've told her not to do that. It's such a disgusting habit. She'll get over it. Anxiety is a part of life. Uh, I don't think uh, anything about it. She can, if she has enough willpower. This is what's called growing pains. Dude, life I hate this woman life already. Life doesn't give breaks. Come on, ma'am. It's obvious she can't do anything about it. You are placing an unnecessary burden on a young child. It's wrong, even I know it. I usually don't know. That's true. And it's over the will of the market, but maybe make an exception for your daughter. Actually, it's super all right for kids to chew their hands and off their hands off forget I said anything. That is true. And that and obviously the will of the market, but maybe make an exception for your daughter. What they're doing is wrong, even I know that, and I usually don't know anything. Any money made the moon, which I never said to man of the Nosh Skerman of the Reza Pulevitz are not legality. She stands stiff and severe, silently fuming. Ten or so seconds pass without change. She's looking for one, but there simply aren't any good arguments for being an asshole. Continue. Oh no. Hold on. I need to invite her inside and apologize. She must be freezing out there. Yeah. Uh, hold on, I need to invite... There. I don't know what to say to you. My husband, he tries to teach me business lessons. I have what my mother called a dull mind. Yeah. All this stress. It's this husband and his father. Is she the only child? She told me she doesn't go to school anymore. Um, is she the only child? Yes, I'm afraid so. A real treat she is. It would be nice if she had... No, we couldn't have afforded more children, really. Not in this economy. A glimmer of sadness blinks through the well-crafted yes. exterior. Yes. Why not? We're quite busy people, you know, my husband and I. Quite busy. Children are a lot of work. You don't look like a father, so I don't expect you to understand. Continue. I'm sorry. I'm sure you do understand. Is this husband and his father? Yes. My husband is a successful entrepreneur east of the river. If only he were more involved in the business we're running up here. No matter. Soon we'll both be off for Grand Couronne. Wait, Grand Couronne? What's that? It's a proper place to live. One of the most peaceful neighborhoods east of Jamrock. Do You may know it for its massive housing projects. Uh, I think, I think, I think this dude was lying to you guys. Most of the buildings are empty at the moment. It's a great opportunity to get ahead of the crowds. Better times ahead for sure. You and husband also involved with the box store? He made the initial investment. Since then, he's been what you might call a silent partner. Dude, he scammed you. Super silent, almost inaudibly so. 
She told me she doesn't uh, go to school anymore. She's been too busy helping me here. So she studied at home this trimester. This is a temporary solution, of course. I assure you, I of all people understand the importance of education. I don't think so. She will be back in school the moment the store takes off. That's, this won't happen. And hell freezes over. Uh, Never mind. It's not a good topic to get into. All right, I had something else in mind. The woman looks aloof. Farewell for now. You see a set of tattered curtains blocking the way to another room. A strange cage-like trinket dangles from the curtains. Continue. Excuse me, officer. The back room is strictly for employees only. Shopkeeper, what's behind the curtains? Examine the strange cage like to open the curtains. Ignore the curtains for now. What's behind the curtains? Nothing. Now please go back to browsing the books. Don't you feel compelled to look at the books? The books are all you care about. She speaks almost as if she's trying to put a spell on you, urging you to buy more books. Uh-huh. Oddly enough, the more she tries to draw you away from the curtains, the more alluring they become. You know what? Fuck it, let's do this. Just as you're about to pull apart the curtains, the petrified voice of the shop owner cries out once more. Sir, don't touch that. I told you it's off limits for the customers. Her hand has closed around her pen and her fingers now is playing with the talisman. Continue. Parapsychologically speaking, we're done if you decide to open them. I won't be held responsible for the consequences. Okay. It's too dangerous. Continue. She looks away, mumbling. This why is about is the curse. That's why you're afraid. Ma'am, this is why different. Can't they just buy books like normal people. Well, since the place calling for me, I must investigate behind the curtain. Okay, if you can stop me. No, it's just a storeroom for the employees. I told you. Now please step away from the curtains. Why? It's not like anyone was killed there. <laughs> I am sorry, I don't mean to be so impolite. Just please don't go there. I can't allow that. You'll only make things worse and unleash the powers. The curtains do seem frail suddenly, not robust enough to contain a slippery darkness. That's the place calling for me, I must admit you can. Basically beyond the threshold. You do? My god, even more reasons not to mess with the curtains. Just step away, dear sir. No! Please just talk to me, officer. Come here and let's talk this through before you decide to do anything extreme. You know what? You know what? No. Talking is always good. Go see what she has to say. Continue. You see a tattered set of curtains and a polyhedron shaped cage like trinket. Examine the strange cage like trinket. You see some kind of charm, an irregular polyhedron assembled from bones, sticks, and straw. Inside, a disturbing fish head with empty eye sockets stares at you. What? What the hell is she doing? This is a traditional Seminese ward, meant to provide protection against ill luck, bad dreams, curses, and other supernatural scourges. What is Semenese? Inhabitants of Ilifanton, the Semenine Islands down south. Aside from poking at it suspiciously, there is nothing else to do with the fish head charm at this time. The curtains remain shut before you. What? Okay, what do you want to tell me? Again, esteemed officer, and yep. welcome to crime, romance, yeah, so and biographies of famous people. I just want to know what's on the other side. I already told you, it's just a storage room for employees. I don't understand why it's so important to you. Just let it go, officer. Go buy some goddamn books. You're supposed to be drawn to the books. Oh. She recites it like it's a poem, or like she's playing a role she's grown tired of. She's so tense. It's talking so about books, are you trying to put a spell on me? Is it just uh, storage room? Then why are you so tense? Such a room, then why does it have some? Is it such a volume to just speak inside? It's not like, uh, why are you so tense? I'm not tense, I'm just. 
Uh, she wavers under your gaze. Mount pressed and the tight phone. Something breaks. Okay, fine. It's just because this place is cursed. Just like everyone said. They don't call it the doomed commercial area for nothing. Uh-huh. Are you happy now, officer? Happy that you've ruined everything? Uh-huh. Host of hosts, she prays. Guard me and my honest business venture from the curse that lurks behind the curtains. What does this curtain manifest to The curse is so much worse than you could imagine. It's a disease eating at the very foundation. What? It's the curse of financial distress, of ruin and mentioned that and the bankruptcy. previous tenants have uh, experienced some financial troubles. It's not just that, officer. We're dealing with something supernatural here. It's the cacodemons feeding off bad business practices and disappointing income statements. What would what would demons, bro? There's something wrong with this building. I Where did you just you. tell me right away? This? Since I arrived, it's the curse. I sensed an eerie lingering so, presence. From As if anyone? I was unwanted here. It's not good to talk about the curse, not in detail. The negativism, it's dangerous. Talking Dude. about the void wraiths angers them. Wow. Void raves. You have new words. It, uh, help for yes. anyone? I've contacted numerous parapsychologists and even a pair of Simonese mediators. They provided me with the wards. The wards help to keep the doom at bay and it's protect us against the, the darkness that lies further in the building. Even though now I fear it's not enough. Oh, this. No, it's a special Hymian amulet, blessed by desert pygmy shamans, with a spell of compulsion. It's to compel people to buy books. Dude. There are numerous spells cast throughout the store. I had the books anointed with a different inducement spell, for example. It's guaranteed to boost sales 15%. Yo, oh my god, no wonder you guys are in trouble financially. Desert pygmy shamans. That sounds like a rather questionable way to describe a group of people. Lady, you Doesn't got seem scammed. Like this bill is there are hardly any customers. There are no customers around such... except to Honestly, me. it seems like this present thing is a scam. You could be doing so much more. Sir, I am well educated in the commercial and esoteric arts. Well, uh, I know what to do and what to what avoid. The words on neon sides. You could try to be friendly with the customer. Maybe you should try to make a search in your business margin. It doesn't look like the best place for a bookshop. You're right. A bookstore wasn't even my original plan. I actually wanted to sell esoteric paraphernalia to help to balance out this neighborhood's dark energies. <sighs> a great idea what happened. My husband suggested otherwise. He said it's less stupid, more appropriate, cultured and all that. Continue. But being cultured doesn't offer any protection like to me to against take the a, curse, does it? Take the case. Maybe I shouldn't have listened to him Let's get to see if it is course is real. Most certainly not. I don't want anyone who's not familiar with the psychic arts to get involved in this mess. Stay away. Leave the spirits be, so they can return to their slumber. My liege, you know what this case calls for? A para detective. Sliver up to her. You silver tongue. Anyway, I don't want to watch. Show her. Ma'am, I came here to help. I've handled paranormal situation before. Are you sure? Don't Avoid think I haven't para seen charlatans before. A para detective. You're no para detective. You look nothing like one. And you're clearly a drinker. Pardon me for being so blunt, but You look like one. <laughs> The lieutenant keeps his usual. Let my share of rings, but only because the special rhyme is paroxysmal taxing. How do you know all this? Here we go. The words brought me here in the first place. The same sin blood also runs through me. I'm on the void raven. I have to pause to pay attention. Simonese. Oh, it means our meeting couldn't have been mere chance. The hand, but I am not the only one at risk. I have to think of my daughter. You are certain you can help us? Keep us safe? Uh, I can't allow any collateral damage to hit safe. us. safe. No problem. Phantoms are no match for me. If you promise, good it's... officer, then you might Anton. be our last hope. Actually, I'm not really it? feeling this vibe anymore. <laughs> Thank you, sir. 
There's one more thing I haven't told you about yet. Uh huh. The entity. Continue. Do not act surprised. You know of these things. Oh, so as you close your eyes, well, I have sensed it present. You have? The entity takes the form of a woman, a witch, probably. I've suspected that she must be connected to the curse ever since I first saw her. Did you know that she lives inside the chimney? Chimney is a passage between heaven and hell, of course. Yes, that chimney is part of the building's central furnace, and it's enormous. She has barricaded herself behind some metal security curtains. God knows what she's doing there. What? Some unnatural magic, I assume. You should go find the entity and ask what happened to all the companies in the building. What is the source of this curse? Here's the key to the warded uh -huh. door behind the curtains. Take it. Oh, and please do return to me after you've looked round. I'm quite anxious to know what she has to say about the curse. What you discover in there. Uh huh. What you discover? Do we have more questions Probably about just some office office space. Oh. Don't be scared. Okay, but please, only a few questions. Right. The woman looks aloof. Okay. Can I go inside? You see a set of tattered. You see a dimly lit room full of dusty furniture and trash. A doorway stands in the back, covered in dozens of scary little Seventies wards. Something of a shadow looming over it like an omen. omen. Oh! Captain Pelagos tries her best to look away, but uh, her own face burst in the hands. And okay, we can just a quick save. Ghostly silhouette. A heavy door with a missing handle stands before you, covered in dozens, if not hundreds, of Semenese trinkets and charms. It appears to be locked. Locked the door? Holy echo. No one is there. Okay. A hollowed out dark echo. After exerting some force, no, you manage to Maybe turn you should... the key. It's Open the door silent. and enter. The door slides slightly open, letting a draft of cold air. Hey. Okay. Oh. Sand is dripping. A letter and sweat. Take all. on the floor the color has worn off its weight plates uh-huh it's 60 kilograms your triceps hum at the sight of these weights show the world what kind of beast it's dealing with lift them there are no collars on the barbell this is a safety hazard yeah there is no collars on the barbell look Kim, there is no collars on the barbell you're right the weights may fall off better not touch it then that's kind of boss awesome. I will just remove the colors. It should be a felony. It would be a violation of EPIS safety regulations if the gym was still operating, mm -hmm. but it isn't. No one's supposed to come here anymore. Leave. So confused what's going on. Uh-huh. Halfway is locked. Hallway. Now oh, wait. No. Uh. Making mannequin torso. Take all.
take on. Robot plates. Take all. Production schedule. Oh. Where Okay. Your flashlight slides over an old green chalkboard covered in scribbles, uh -huh. sketches, and schemes like some ancient cave mural. Some of the writing has faded with age, uh -huh. but you can still make out sections here and there. Photos and drawings have been pinned to the board. Spectre drawing. These lithe, pointy-eared creatures appear to be different types of welkins. You make out autumnal candle welkins casting wax-based magic. Uh huh. Continue. Translucent Wilkins, with organs shining under their skin, and even Ether Wilkins, hailing from the vast emptiness of sidereal space. Uh huh. You should adopt one of those Wilkins as your persona. No longer a mere man, but a Welkin. One of the Wilkins, towering among the rest, appears to be different, however. Zaman the Welkin, this is important. It's Vara Hamira, a high Welkin. His face white and scarred like cracked marble. Mm -hmm. This is clearly a Welkin supremacist. The note says all non Welkin races will be purged. The Haldor, the Tworg, the humans, what? and even headless men, all of them purged. Imagine a world filled only with Welkin Green Welkin, Dread Welkin, and the High Welkin to rule them all. An inordinate amount of time has gone into drawing these little welkin creatures. Why won't anyone spend so much time on this? Some people really like building a world, I think. Even if it's just for a game. Oh, these creatures who drew them. Are they real? I have so many questions. This looks like concept art for a project. It's not really real. Oh, maybe it's for the board games. So one of them is welkin a supremacist. Mm -hmm. Political commentary. That one has a great beard, too. <laughs> well, this has been a discredit. Let's move on from the real Just look at those details. Some effort. I inspect the photos. The photo collage depicts barren, icy landscapes wrapped in perpetual night. You see permafrost and glacial landforms, dead trees grown in under the snow. Continue. Entire oceans have been frozen from shore to shore. There are pictures of settlements on dried up riverbeds. Abandoned in a storm. Okay. Animal corpses in the dark, carcasses and bones. You see primitive oil rigs built into glaciers, boreal dvorg, yurts under the snow, great mammoth like beasts of burden. Okay. Albeit dark and cold, this vision also feels cozy in its own way, like eggnog or morphine, a much needed respite from our own world. A pinned postcard reads, Inspect The heat death scenario. A desperate fight for geothermal energy engulfs the world as Wirral becomes untethered from its sun, drifting through the universe. Inspect the schedule. This is a monthly calendar from the year 50. Cryptic words like Sprint, Daily Minimi, and GPI span the marker-drawn grid, the grand scheme of production and money. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, continue. It looks a bit like an academic calendar, only much more brutal. Minimi stands for a mini meeting. It's part of a bigger framework for managing work called RUN. Station 41 tried to implement it a few years ago, but failed. Now what happened? As time goes on, the numbers in the boxes grow rarer and rarer. The board becomes an empty snowfield in the final days. Mm -hmm. Only failure and regret dwell in this region. Continue. Looks like they didn't make it. Yeah, looks like uh, the fragile ice fence and nothingness. A note in the bottom left corner of the chalkboard says, 
See the prod schedule filament for details. Inspect the notes. The handwriting is only partly legible, but you can still make out three slogans. Call in, tune out, we're all untethered, and heat death of the universe. Continue. The full text reads, heat death of the universe is the new black. Another note says, the biggest advancement in role-playing systems since the 30s. Oh, it's, it is a port game. This appears to be some kind of machine with a cube-shaped heart and a wired framework. The keyboard has a rectangular on-off button. A piece of paper still hangs from the printer. A radio computer. Just sitting here without anyone inside. What he means is that these things cost money. Why would anyone just leave it behind? This is the Ream Civic radio computer, model RC5120, equipped with a Feld mainframe and a Ream compatible printer. We have one of these down at the station, but I never really learned how to use it. Turn on the machine. The machine lights up like some prehistoric animal stirring from its slumber, uh -huh. revealing fluorescent play and print keys on the keyboard. The hatch on the machine's central compartment is wide open. Look inside the component compartment. It's empty like a beehive without its brood. Some cables have been left dangling, disconnected. The filament you have would fit perfectly inside the compartment. Insert the production schedule. Like a smooth drawer, the filament slides into place. On the keyboard, the play key starts blinking. Uh, look inside Behind it. the hatch sits a cube-like crisscross of filaments, smoldering in the dark like f A bar of fabric right above the keyboard starts producing a soft hum. The sound of static seeps through the machine's planar magnetic driver. The static gets louder, slowly filling up the abandoned hall until a voice speaks out, crackling and old, cutting into the air. Good afternoon. Fortress accident en rue de Saint-Gueslaine. This is East Inslindian Rapid Station 1. Wait, isn't this this woman that we saw on the train station thingy? Please repeat. Is this the production schedule? You call from... What are you, a machine or... The, oh, for now. What are the production schedule? The filament you have inserted into the reader. Something I put... Sign. All right. Thanks for... Yes. Is that the production schedule? Yes. Good. Please repeat the password. Password. Of course it would have a password. That's why there's a human this is the administrator police. involved. Password, can you give me a hint? No. A hint system is not part of the protocol for repeater stations. Uh, is it my birthday? Still no. Um. I am contractually obliged to protect the privacy of the filament holder for trust accident. Without filing a warrant with Lintel, I cannot give you access to this filament. I'm afraid we are not doing that, unless we want to wait for a month. Now, can you please repeat the password? I don't know the password. Received. I will register this login attempt. Don't worry. Passwords have a way of turning up sooner or later. Fortress accident. Is there anything else I can uh. do for you today? Good. Please repeat. Received. Don't worry. Fortress Why accident. did you call my um, my fortress accident? Fortress accident is the company on whose name the terminal you are currently using has been registered to. Do you have any other information about the company? One moment. Oh shit, it's out, it's the risk. accident SCA produces revolutionary interactive calling radio games. That's what the catalog says. Okay. That's not bad. Oh no. And uh, what's that and the uh, in radio game? Any other questions? What are you a machine or are you alive? Yes, I am alive. I am 74 years old and my name is Yvonne. Continue. She repeats passwords. Programming people are all paranoid. 
you want my partner tells me that you're here because hell your computer guys okay but here where are you how did you know where i am i work as a repeater at the east insulindian repeater station it's my job to know where you are for this accident okay as for me well i am sitting in my cubicle surrounded by a wall of radios now Please tell me if there is anything else That's I can all do for now. this accident. Thank you and goodbye. Tiles on the cube are still smoldering, casting the framework in a soft glow. Fluorescent play and print keys. Shares nothing okay. happens. Leave. Wait. This old fireplace is covered in lines drawn in blue and red marker. Uh -huh. The mesh spreading over the stone like blood vessels on alabaster skin. It looks ghostly and strangely ancient. The whole thing resembles Cadran mosaic tiles. Very pathetic. What am I looking at? Radio frequencies, it seems. UKV 123.6. UKV 123.7. UKV 123.9. Unclear. It looks so like with a something medical the system split into veins and capillaries. Very advanced. It's something uh, medical. Think so. The web is comprised of radio stations, all lead back to one red heart, titled the Game Master Frequency. A note says this one can listen in on any station it wants. Uh huh. They must have had massive air width. These things if it's a game, you. then who's playing? Whoever decides to call in to a call-in station, it looks like. A list of names under the stations suggests people across six Isolas would be playing. Muindi, Insulinda, Kotla, Grad, Samara, and even Imara. What is this game? There's no way a little basement studio working here could pull anything like this off. My God, it's as if the less money they had, the more ambitious their project became. Marrying on the rhythm, this cost of airbit alone must have been huge. Exactly. This schedule, I know doom when I see it. The company was running out of funding. Uh, what else? Nothing. It's just lines on marble. Uh -huh. An echo from times long gone. No one has used the fireplace in ages. Okay. What do you think is going on with that computer, chalkboard? Try to exercise the curse using technology. I look like an undercover contemporary program. It's just failed business. The only question is what the hell were they making? It's like an No, that's not it. I think. Like he's ready to lay out a fine theory, crafted together like a puzzle box. It looks like one of those popular pen and paper role playing games. This is these was people were trying to automate the thing it, happened to the company. On radio computers. No idea. They stopped filling out the schedule on the chalkboard. How were they planning to do that? Through call in stations. None of the players have to be physically present. Anyone in the world can participate in the game as long as they have a two way radio. Then there's the Game Master Frequency that listens in on the smaller calling stations. I think that was supposed to coordinate the stories, functioning as a master of ceremonies of sorts. Uh -huh. Coordinating so many games would take a whole Have you done this before? Possibly divided into sub-frequencies. Not to my knowledge. They make automated games in Grad, Messina, Konigstein. You know, places with industry. Mm -hmm. Not in Revachol West among the ruins but i don't think anyone has attempted to create an inter game before we just don't have the technology and this was a role playing game indeed those welkins are a dead giveaway role playing people love that stuff the world looks like a modified version of the we were board game with hit death thrown in super cool someone should give them millions of real immediately this game is too good to be left unfinished. Wow, include. Indeed, it's ambitious it's and it, it untethered from reality, but... Just a play to cheat money out of the... Curse got them, I see not. 
the world is called to know it is won't kept it completely. Do we have any money? Let's give them more money. It's too late for that, I'm afraid. Ah. Okay, let's keep moving. It's a freaking bear. You see a terrifying ice bear with a strange compartment in its belly. The door is covered in frost and the bear's eyes are glowing red. The bear looks oddly Sting. realistic. It looks like a giant ice bear. Dirty? The lieutenant doesn't answer. His eyes are glued to the animal. A sharp slice of light shines out from its mysterious belly door. Crack open the a door. Gust of freezing cold air rushes to greet you. You hear a low grumble as the bear regulates itself. This is the inside of a refrigerator. Continue. The lieutenant takes a peek inside. His hand has found the holster of his gun. Relax, it's just a fridge. Of course, just a giant ice bear shaped fridge. Let's take a look inside. Look inside the, the shelves are empty. All you see are crumpled ice cream wrappers with the brand name Revachol Ice City. A handwritten note has been attached to the door. The fridge is huge. Take the note from the door. You pocket the note and the little fridge magnets keeping it on the door. You've acquired an interactable item. Investigate this item further by going to the interact tab in your inventory. Uh -huh. Examine one of the ice cream wrappers in there. A friendly cartoon bear smiles back at you from a glossy cellophane wrapper. It looks nothing like the fridge. Uh huh. The paper still smells of What's vanilla. What's strange fridge doing in this abundant cellar in the first place? Good question. It looks like an ice cream fridge. So they tried some uh, ice cream. Oh yeah, wait. Now I'm realizing. So these old buildings are connected with each other, and the one was doing uh, freaking. Uh, Dungeon and Dragons, someone was selling ice cream, okay. I know. What an unfortunate marketing choice. What is even worse, the bear is still costing them money to this day. Uh-huh. The fridge buzzes with energy. Close door. We got here. Dark wait, 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 wait. Uh, we got some items. The note is written with a blue pencil on a piece of lined office paper. The kitchen magnets have left spots on its surface. Does it say anything interesting? I read the note. Someone has scribbled. S. I can't believe the off-site copy is still here. The illiterate ginger kid keeps stealing stuff from the studio, so I had to hide it somewhere safe. What's the dude that threw with the stones, You'll right? You'll find the filament memory with the off-site copy in the frozen ice cream maker. I wonder Please if take it home, ASAP. Ooh. It's important. I'd do it myself if I lived in a civilized place with a freezer. Take care, silly swaf. I wonder who wrote this. Looks song. like someone from that radio game company upstairs. I'm a little surprised they just left their property lying here. Had to leave in a hurry. Maybe it's because of the entity. That's a plausible hypothesis. Remind me again. What's a filament memory? It belongs inside a radio computer, storing its memory. <coughs> it's like a tape. You Ooh. listen to disco tapes, right? It's like one of your disco tapes, only uh -huh. for a computer. Who is this kid? Some local miscreants, probably. There are tons of them running Any around. Any idea where the frozen ice cream maker trouble. could be? We usually dispatch our junior officers to deal with them. I don't know. I assume it's somewhere close to the ice bear fridge. Put the note away. A thick layer of cold dust covers the furnace, coloring it pitch black. Is this a furnace Look game? Kid. Looks like an old central furnace used to heat the building. It's connected to the chimney. 
No one has used it in ages. Look and set no the signs of any recent value or hands. Only dead rats. Look and set the ferment. And grimy here. In the darkness you can hear chatter. It's coming from above. A voice or several voices talking to each other. Near the smoke chamber, upstairs. The echo is so prominent, it's impossible to discern what the voices are saying or what's producing them. What are you doing? Marvelous and Mobile is this the hear the murderer of the hanged man talking. I'm not sure Kim, but I think I can hear somebody attacking upstairs. Wait, really? We should investigate, see if someone's upstairs. Um just me your hand with coal. A lush layer of coal now covers your skin, sinking into the wrinkles. Your hands look ancient. Maybe you could paint something with this coal. Those Leave a cave painting for future archaeologists. Maybe it's a no, That would be stupid. So, uh, yeah, hello. Those voices I heard. Maybe it's the leaf. Dude, I don't know. This game. Do I don't know. Dude, I don't know. So many questions. Hey, come on. This orange machine is buzzing like an old submarine. It has a hand cranked ice cream churner on top and an electric freezer that appears to be frozen shut. Turning the crank feels oddly satisfying, uh -huh. like stirring your childhood dreams. In the distance, you hear water dripping. You slip your fingers under the frozen lid, but the ice is too cold for you to get a good grip. Mm -hmm. A pry bar would come in handy here. No, this is going to need something else. Some kind of super pry bar. Don't even try to open it with a regular pry bar. You're okay. just wasting your time. If you want to try again, then you need to have the pry bar in your hand, detective. Equip the pry bar by going to the tool. Okay. This orange machine is buzzing like an old submarine. It has a hand cranked ice cream churner on top. Dude, I cannot. I don't have enough stuff for that. Two cables are plugged like into the breaker box. Like the red one. Leaf. First, we're gonna check everything out. Take all. What did I cut? Clothes. Clinically insane. Quick save again. Two cables are plugged into the breaker box. The red one leads to the ice bear fridge, and the black one to the ice cream maker nearby. An electric sizzle. The room is slightly quieter now. Something close to you dies with a soft electric purr. Why did you do that? Like it's not like it's red one because it's black of the color. I don't know why I went back. I, I don't think so. Don't know either. The lieutenant raises. So I think I maybe be able to open. This orange machine is dead still. It has a hand cranked ice cream churner. Maybe I can. Okay, no. No, maybe. The beer's eyes are dead and empty. Ice inside the fridge slowly melting. Look. Wait. I can go up. Mm. 
lol. But also, I'm gonna wrap up things here and continue next time. Interesting game. Confusing game. Co collage content. Oh. I should. Yep. Quit. Okay. Okay. Damn. That was fun. Um, yeah, I have some plans today, so four hours. Interesting game. We're definitely gonna continue playing. Not sure when. But I I I I, I need to to sink it all in because it was a lot of information. Um a lot of words that I don't really understand the meaning of it. But I'm excited. So what I could understand is it's like we are police officer. My impression, my first idea was we are police officer. We a kind of good police officer. And then we got on a case. Something happened with us. Maybe we got into a bar because we investigated something, decided to drink something and somebody put something in our drink. We kind of some sort of a drug and then we lost our memory. And apparently this kind of summoned an entity that controls us. And everyone is us. <laughs> but anyways, I want to say thank you all so much for watching. Uh, sorry for the scuff. I will see you all around. Have a wonderful rest of your uh, day. Evening, morning, whatever time zone it is. Have a good one. Bye bye. Ciao.